Hey there, if you are new, I am Jessica. I make cleaning videos here on YouTube. If you are a part of the community that loves to watch cleaning videos, then you have found the right channel. I've got a great group of people here. We all love cleaning and homemaking, and I share all of my tips and tricks, as well as some motivating content. I also share some recipes for you guys to help when you get into those cooking slumps, because I know that I definitely get into those. I'm actually in one now, so if you need some new ideas for quick and easy meals, I've got you covered. So I have compiled some of my most recent videos as well as a couple of my videos from this time last year. You guys can throw this up on your TV or your iPad or your phone or whatever you want to watch on and clean along with me today. So if you have a lot of cleaning to do, you've got Christmas guests coming over or you're just trying to get ahead of the game for Christmas and you want someone to keep you company, you need some good music to listen to, then I've got you, girl. I will be there for you. The next four hours are going to be filled with cleaning motivation, cleaning hacks. Like I said earlier, I've got some recipes for you in here and then just some good conversation. So I would love to have you stick around for this video. Keep it on your TV, your iPad, and let's get to cleaning. I also really quickly wanted to note that there are some sponsorships in these videos you are about to watch. This video is not sponsored. They were sponsored in the time that I did them when they went live, but this in particular is not sponsored. But I will try and remember to put all of the links to everything mentioned in the description box in case you are interested. Just kidding, you're not rid of me yet. <laughs> so I am voiceovering these clips that you're seeing now before we get started with the full video. But I just wanted to come on here quickly and say that the next video you will see will be a brand new video here on my channel. It will be next week. And then that will be my last video for this year. And then I will see you guys in the new year. So definitely make sure you are subscribed because next year we've got a lot of decluttering and organizing to do a lot. I'm going to be doing a ton of purging and you guys are definitely going to want to be here for it. So I just wanted to come on here and let you know that as well as I have been kind of missing in action because my family just got over a very terrible illness. I'm not exactly sure what it was, but I'm pretty confident it was the big C word and I'm pretty sure that I at some point didn't make it and then came back because I cried and I never cry when I'm sick. So it was pretty bad, but I'm back. I'm here. So let's go ahead and get started with the video. I'll see you guys in my next one. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. And if you are new, I'm Jessica. Today we are going to be tackling real life messes. So if you're here for it, then definitely stay tuned. We're gonna just be cleaning up our regular messy house with regular normal messes. I have tons of them around my house and I really tried to show you guys like the up close and personal real stuff that you can't usually see on camera. I tried to make sure you could see it in today's video so that you would really get that satisfying cleaning that we love so much here on YouTube. So I would love to have you guys stay tuned. If you haven't already subscribed, definitely hit that subscribe button. It's totally free. Also, before I go, I am sharing a really simple meal idea that the whole family will love as well as a delicious dessert idea. So definitely stay tuned for those as well. Oh, 
Okay, so we are going to get started here in the kitchen and I just wanted to give you guys some close-ups of the messes that are in here. They don't always show up on camera. Also, our silly elves are in the oven. I think that they were a little bit cold so they were trying to get warm in there. So do not worry, there were no elves harmed in the making of this video. But I'm just showing you here, I've got food. This is my husband's pan that he won't let me wash. It's always in all of my videos, you guys. Some of you know about it and you kind of make fun of me. It's just like an ongoing thing. He will not let me wash that pan, so it drives me crazy. It's always in my videos. But I have dishes and bottles and crumbs on the counter and I've got dog hair and crumbs on the floor and then my cabinets have stuff that I don't even know what it is or where it came from but sometimes when I get to cleaning I'm cleaning one thing and I look up and I realize something else is a mess and I just kind of get on a roll and that's kind of what happened in today's video. I got down there to show you guys the floor and realized that my cabinets were gross so we're going to be cleaning all of that today. So I'm going to go ahead and just let the music play and let you guys watch me cleaning and then I will be back on here to talk to you guys in just a little bit. So I am just cleaning my son's little chair that he sits in sometimes when I'm like cooking and stuff. He will sit up here on the counter so that he feels like he's with me and I will give him like puffs and they are everywhere. And as I was cleaning this out, I kind of just brushed the puffs onto the floor and my dogs get a treat. So I kind of double as, or it kind of doubles as cleaning and giving the dogs treats. They love it. They always wait for him to drop those puffs or they wait for me to clean because they know that they're going to get the mother load of puffs. <laughs> And I think these were the sweet potato flavor. They really like those.
to go ahead and just shine my stainless steel and I'm using this Wayman stainless steel cleaner. I really like this one. It smells so good. And I feel like when I use this to clean that it really does keep the fingerprints and stuff away for at least a couple of days. It does take a little bit more work because I have to really buff it in. But once it's done, it does seem to make them stay cleaner longer. So I do really like this stainless steel cleaner. Okay, so for the cabinets, I am going to use this Mr. Clean Clean Freak in the lavender scent, and then I'm going to also use some Fabuloso. So I went ahead and just sprayed the cabinets down with the Mr. Clean. That way they could go ahead and be soaking because I did have some stuff on my cabinets to say the least. But then I also like to wash my cabinets with like hot water with some sort of a cleaner. Sometimes I'll use Pine Sol. I don't have any Pine Sol right now, so I'm just using the Fabuloso. And then I'm using my kettle to boil some water just to make it really nice and hot. I'm weird like that. If my water is not hot, then I just feel like things aren't getting clean. <laughs> so that's how I do it. So I just sprayed them down with that Mr. Clean and then I boiled that water, kind of let those sit and do its magic, kind of break down any of the grease or anything that was on the cabinets. And then I'm going to use this little mixture that I made here with a rag to actually like wash the cabinets down. It also smells really good. I know that I haven't been who I was. I am supposed to be the one you can trust. I feel so useless because I let you down. I hope there's some way I can make it all right. Because I know white cabinets for me is like a catch-22 I guess because they're beautiful they're light and bright and cheery and wonderful they look great in pictures but they are an absolute nightmare to keep clean I had dark walnut cabinets in our house before this and I will say they're not necessarily super easy to keep clean they definitely still show things and I do notice, or I did notice that in that house, we lived there for eight years. And by the time we left, those cabinets were beat up pretty bad because any nicks from pans and pots and pans and just like daily wear and tear, they definitely show things. They show that and they show dirt and then the, I guess like the stain kind of wears down. But all of that being said, they definitely were a million times easier to keep clean than white cabinets. So. I struggle with this because I wonder 
if I were to ever have another kitchen, which most likely I will because this is not our forever home. When my husband retires from the military, we will most likely be moving. And I struggle with what kind of cabinets I'm going to do or what I would want in a house. And I really just don't know. For sure, not black. <laughs> I have a black island and it's the worst. It shows everything. So ugh, if you know, you know. If you don't know, now you do. I like my black island. Don't get me wrong, but no, like absolutely not. So I don't know in a future kitchen if I would do wood or white. I really don't know. I really love the dark wood. I really loved my dark wood kitchen. People used to always ask me, don't you want to paint it white? And I really never did. I really liked the dark. It was beautiful to me. And I still like dark wood cabinets. And I think they're going to definitely make a comeback. But, and I definitely think they're easier to keep clean than the white. But I still really love the white too. So I don't know. If you know what I'm talking about, then let me know in the comments. We can discuss cabinets. Like, what color cabinets do you have? Do you love them? Do you hate them? I don't know. Maybe they'll be like a whole different like style when it comes time for me to pick a new kitchen. And it'll be something that is way easier to keep clean, but white is not it. Wish I could say I was finally over you, but that's not the truth. Mm -mm. So as I mentioned earlier, a lot of times when I get to cleaning, I'll get down somewhere and then I will realize that something else needs to be cleaned. And that's what happened right here. I was cleaning the floors and I looked at my baseboard and I was horrified because it had like an inch of dust and it was just so gross. So I got down on my hands and knees and I just wiped all the baseboards down over here. And that's kind of how I'll do it. I'll just kind of wipe them and as I go and as I need, like one day I might literally just be carrying groceries in and be like, oh my God, my baseboards need to be cleaned. And then I will just clean them. But this is how I clean them. I just spray a cleaner, a multi-purpose cleaner of my choice. And today I'm using my Jaws multi-service simply just because it was right there. But I'll use that in a rag and wipe them down really quick. It's super quick and easy. And I actually like cleaning my baseboards. I don't think that's a popular opinion. <laughs> but I don't mind cleaning them. The only part I don't like is having to get down on my hands and knees. The older I get, the harder that is for me. But I think that's really satisfying and super easy. So I actually really like to clean my baseboards. I wish I could come clean all y'all's baseboards for you too. Because I know a lot of people hate cleaning their baseboards. So I was on Instagram the other day and I was kind of talking about in the making of this cleaning video, I was in a really bad mood. To be honest with you guys, I just was in a really bad mood. I was not wanting to clean. I was not wanting to film. And the reason why that I discovered was because what I had done was I had kind of let my house go, to be honest with you. Behind the scenes YouTube, I kind of let my house go because I wanted to have really good footage for you guys. I wanted to make it very satisfying. I wanted to have some serious messes for you to clean because, or for you to watch me clean, because it seems like that's what does well here on YouTube. And that's what I wanted to provide for you. But in doing that, I realized that I was letting go of my own happiness and my own sanity. That's not like me. I am not somebody who can let my house go. I'm not somebody who can just let it go and clean once or twice a week. I am somebody who cleans as I go. I'm cleaning every single day. And I don't really mind to do that because I do not thrive in 
chaos or messy houses. And that's okay. Some people, that's what works for them, but it doesn't work for me. So I can't do that. <laughs> I have got to clean as I go. So in the future, I'm thinking for my next video, I'm definitely going to focus on just showing you more of like how I clean a little bit every day to just maintain a clean home because that's that's what it is for me. I most of the time honestly have a pretty clean home, but it's because I'm constantly cleaning. That doesn't mean I'm cleaning all day. It just means that I clean a little bit every day rather than trying to clean my whole house in one day or not doing the floors for a week, trying to get good footage for you guys. And then when it comes down to it, it takes me 10 times longer to do. And I'm really upset because I'm really overwhelmed. It just doesn't work for me. So hopefully that makes sense. But yeah, I was like, okay, I can't do this anymore. And I know that this video doesn't look like my house was even that messy, but you have to understand for me, this is really messy. <laughs> and I know to some people, they would probably think, oh my gosh, you know, your house looks clean when you think it's at its worst, but everybody's different. And I just need everything to be in its place. And I need my floors to be clean or I'm just not happy and everybody pays for it. <laughs> so yeah, we're going to focus, I think next week on just trying to do a little at a time and just keep up with it. I probably clean my countertops three times a day and you know what? That works for me. So I'm going to continue doing it that way. I'm showing you here really quickly that I am changing out my Scentsies. This is my cute little Santa warmer from Scentsy. And then this little Santa warmer is actually from Walmart years ago. I love him. I've had him for so long and I am putting in that scent. Um, I think it's Scarlet Sunflower. It smells really, really good. That's a new scent that I just purchased. I love Scentsy and I use them all the time. So I was just switching out and putting in some new scents. Definitely not Christmas scents. I thought that was kind of funny because sunflower kind of feels like summer scent and I was putting it in my Santa warmer, but hey, it works. So anyways, I'm going to stop talking now and let you guys listen to the music. I still love you on my side. Staying night after night. This is just my habit Okay, so now we are going to be making chili. I have made this on my channel before, but I did change it up just a little bit and I figured there was a lot of new people here who might like to, you know, learn this recipe because it is definitely a hit. I've had a ton of people say they loved it. So you're just going to need some ground beef and then you're going to need some ground cumin. I put this anything goes from Pioneer Woman, but honestly, if you didn't put it in there, you wouldn't notice. Um, you're going to need some chili powder, garlic powder, some tomato sauce, or I mean pasta sauce, whatever, whatever works. I've honestly used both. I like the hunts because it's smooth and not chunky. And then you're going to need some chili beans. We always get the mild, but you can obviously get whatever you like. And then I really like the Chilio brand seasoning. I learned that from Kristen Stepp. She uses it and I really like it. I think you can get a big thing at Sam's Club. Then I'm going to be making some crusties cornbread, and then I am using, this is the star of the show, my new Dutch oven from the Drew Barrymore line, Beautiful at Walmart. I have a couple of her things, and everything so far I have loved, but this Dutch oven, I am obsessed with it. I use it so much. I just, I don't even know why I love it so much, but I just do. So you literally are going to cook everything in this one pot, and it's so easy, and it takes 15 minutes. So I just brown my ground beef in there and I'm just adding adding in all of these seasonings. You're just going to add in a little bit. I'm sorry, you guys. I am not a cooking channel. I am not precise. 
I literally just put in what I think will be good and it always turns out. So I'm just putting in all that seasoning with my ground beef. I am browning it and then I just drained all the grease out over a bowl like this I showed you. And then I will end up dumping that into the garbage can later. But I just drained my beef and now I'm going to add in my pasta sauce. And I've used the garlic one. I've also used their original one. It doesn't make or break the recipe. So I think that you would be fine just using your favorite. And then I did add some water to that can and add that in there. And then I'm going to go ahead and add in my can of chili beans. I'm going to stir that all together. By the way, this is on about medium heat while I'm doing this because I'm just going to let this all simmer together. I'm going to go ahead and add in my packet of Chilio seasoning. And then I'm going to go ahead and pour in my macaroni noodles. I never measure them and I never know how much is enough. I guess it really just depends on how many people you have in your family. I'm sorry again, guys. Like I said, I'm not a cooking channel. But I would say there's about half a box of macaroni noodles in here <laughs> this time. Maybe the last time I made it or the time next time there'll be more or less. But I just add in what seems right. And then I put the lid on. I keep it on about low and I let that simmer for at least 10 minutes. You can let it simmer for longer really you're just cooking those macaroni noodles and kind of letting all of those seasonings cook together. So I would say about 10 minutes or into the, until the noodles are done and then it's done. So while that is cooking, I am just going to make these um, cornbread muffins from Krusty's. I love this brand. I like the honey cornbread. It's really sweet. It's really delicious and super easy to make. So I'm just mixing that up while the chili simmers and I'm going to put those in the oven. Maybe it will pass by someone save me for I pass out I'm too lonely to be done I'm a drink at this page So while I was cooking, my son, baby Hank, says, hi, everybody. We're working on waving. We haven't quite gotten there. <laughs> but anyways, this is the chili when it is done. I always sprinkle a little bit of cheese. I'm sprinkling Colby Jack on it today. Sometimes I just do cheddar. And then I break up some saltines. I know a lot of you guys have said um, oyster crackers or you can even do Fritos. Um, Ritz crackers. Some of some of y'all add sour cream. My family likes to put peanut butter on their saltine crackers and eat it with that. Um, but this is how I just make mine: a little bit of cheese, a little bit of crackers, and then I eat some cornbread on the side, and it's delicious. This is so perfect for a cool winter night as well. And then I also made this recipe I saw on Facebook. Super simple. You're just going to need an 8 ounce bar of cream cheese at room temperature. You're going to mix that together with a half a cup of sugar. And by the way, I will have the recipe for this dessert in the description box because I'm going to describe it the best I can. You're going to need one egg and one half teaspoon of pure vanilla extract. You're going to mix all of that together to make like your cream cheese filling. And then you're going to just need some cookie dough. I used the Nestle Toll House chocolate chip cookie dough because that's what they used in the recipe thing that I saw on Facebook. And of course their little video, they did everything looked so perfect and easy. And when I was doing it, it didn't quite go like as smooth as it did for them. But that's okay because it is more than likely not go as smooth for you either. So this is like real life, how it actually goes. <laughs> so I just took the cookies and I cut them up and then I used those to line the bottom of my pan, which by the way, the recipe does say to use like wax paper or um, parchment paper and kind of line the bottom of your pan with that. So that is what I did. 
and it wouldn't stay in. And of course in the video, they're stayed in like perfectly, whatever is like magical stuff for them, I guess. But this is real life here. So I just took my cookies and kind of mashed them down into the bottom to make like a crust. Again, their video made it look so perfect and seamless. My video makes it seem like a train wreck, but it's okay because it still tastes really good. So I'm just mushing them all together in the bottom of the pan and then I'm going to pour that cream cheese mixture on top and kind of spread that out and then I'm going to take the remainder of the cookie dough and just kind of crumble it up and like sprinkle it on top of that cream cheese mixture and then you're going to want to preheat your oven to 350 and it says to bake for 30 to 35 minutes. I always bake on the lower side of that because you can add time, but you can't take away. So I did about 30 minutes and they were done. Um, so yeah, that's all I did, 30 minutes at 350, and it came out looking like this, and it was really good. The cream cheese could have been a little bit more cream cheesier, is that a word? I like cream cheese. I felt like it could have been a little bit more rich, I guess, but, um, it was good. So if you guys make it, let me know if you liked it. I would give it like maybe a five out of 10, but it was definitely fun trying it and it was super easy. So now I am cleaning up all of the baby toys in the living room. This is again something that I normally would keep up on and I pick up at least at the end of the day before bed so that I can relax in here. But I had let this go for days and days and days and days. And then when I got to it, I was very overwhelmed. So a 10 out of 10, do not recommend that. I recommend cleaning a little bit every day. So if you can take 10 minutes, set a timer for 10 minutes, whatever you have to do, but just do as much as you can get done in that 10 minutes. So people keep asking me if we like our new couch and oh, you guys, I do and I don't. I like it. It's comfortable. It's pretty, but the electrical component in it has already broken within a couple of weeks of us owning it. They had to come out and replace that. And then as you can see, I pushed the parts together right here because that section will not stay connected to the other section, like no matter what. I know that a couple of you have said there's some stuff on Amazon you can order to do it and we really need to do that because it drives me insane. My kids climbing on them and then just us getting up and out of them and moving the recliners and just life and they spread apart and there's a huge gap and like honestly if there's like a pillow there or something and you sit down you will literally fall down into the crack. It's not even funny. It's kind of funny but it's not funny and there's so much trash and crumbs and all the stuff that accumulates down in that crack as well and it drives me nuts so for as expensive as these couches were no I don't like it but I like it because it is comfortable and functional but I just don't think it was worth the money and I have bought a lot of furniture from Ashley Furniture and I've always been really happy but this time I definitely am not happy so I don't know. I can't really say I recommend this couch just because it's been a pain in the butt for us. So, I mean, I guess you can just take that information and use it how you want. If you have your eye on it and you really want to get it, you know, go ahead. But 
definitely not my favorite couch in the world. I know everything about you. Like it's hard for you to be true. Oh, funny how it changed in a matter of time. Phone is ringing, always at a bad time. Every time you flash your name, always leaving. Then you got me chasing you like I'm the one to blame. Okay, so now I'm cleaning my cleaning rags and I've shown this a few times. This is how I do it. I just take some detergent. Today I'm using the Tide Hygienically Clean and then the Lysol laundry sanitizer and I wash them on, I have an actual sanitized cycle on my washing machine, which essentially is just the longest, hottest cycle. So if you don't have that cycle on your washing machine, just do the hottest water with the longest cycle that you can do. And then my dryer also has a sanitized cycle where it does the longest hottest cycle basically so that's how i clean my cleaning rags super easy and then i had washed my sheets and i was putting those on and if you guys saw when i first got these sheets i love them they're like a fleecy very soft very warm but they don't fit my mattress and they're actually deep pocket they're supposed to be 14 inch deep pocket um sheets and that's what the like whole thing claims on amazon they're also sold at kohl's but they're not. My mattress is a deep mattress, but it's not any extra deeper than normal. Um, and they don't fit my mattress, but they do stay on okay. So I still like them, but just so you know, they definitely don't fit your mattress. So I guess I didn't read the reviews and I should have, but oh well, they're still nice. But that's, again, that's why they're not on my mattress all the way. So it is what it is. But anyways, I had washed sheets and I was putting those on the bed and just making up the bed. And I do have headphones there on the floor because fun fact, if I ever have any trouble sleeping or if I'm stressed or anything like that, or have like a lot on my mind, I love to listen to ASMR, which if you don't know what that is, it's basically just like different types of sounds that can be really soothing to somebody and very relaxing. And there are tons of channels on YouTube that offer that sort of thing. And there's all different kinds and different, um, there's men and women and different like themes and things that they talk about. Sometimes it's fun and like role playing. Sometimes they will, um, just make noises, things like that. And it sounds super weird. I get it, but it works a hundred percent of the time. I have never listened to ASMR and not fallen asleep. So if you have never tried that and you have problems falling asleep or you just like have anxiety and you want to relax, try ASMR. I really like GB. Um, her voice is really soothing. And again, I know it sounds really weird. Probably not something you want to like discuss with somebody you just met because they will for sure think that you're crazy. <laughs> um, I know some of my friends are like, Jess, are you okay? But don't knock it until you try it because it's seriously, it's free and it works. So it is my go-to for sure. So that's why I had my headphones. Definitely listen to it with headphones. It makes the whole experience like the best experience. Um, so yeah, I had my headphones there, but anyways, um, we're coming to the end of this video. So I just wanted to go ahead and say thank you so much for watching. If you made it this far and again, hello to all of my new subscribers. I know I have a ton of newbies that are over from Jamie's channel when I clapped with her last week. So welcome, welcome, welcome. I'm so excited. I'm so excited to have you here. I hope you guys are loving my channel and that you decide to stick around. And I hope everybody is having a great holiday season, whether you celebrate or you don't. I know, you know, it's crazy right now. <laughs> Going out in town is crazy. Like, 
social media is crazy. Everything is crazy right now. Okay. We get it. We know like everybody's stressed. I feel like, um, so at least I am maybe, maybe not everybody is, but I am, I'm stressed. I'm ready for Christmas to be over y'all. Actually, I'm not ready for it to be over. I'm ready for it to be Christmas. Does that make sense? I just want to enjoy it instead of being like prepping for it. I'm still shopping. I'm still Christmas shopping. That's what I'm saying. You guys is that I haven't even wrapped presents. I wrapped a couple, but not all of them. I have so much to do. <laughs> Okay, guys, I am done rambling. It is the end of the video. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you next week. Hey, guys, welcome back to my channel. And if you are new here, I'm Jessica, and I do cleaning videos here on YouTube every week. And I just share with you my cleaning routines, cleaning hacks, and just overall cleaning motivation and organization, that kind of thing, anything cleaning related you can find that here on my channel. I also love cleaning products. So I have a bunch. I'm always trying new ones, cleaning machines, cleaning products, all things cleaning. So I would love to have you stick around if you are new here. Today, I'm going to be cleaning up just some everyday normal messes. And I'm also going to be sharing my Christmas decor. This is going to be Christmas themed with Christmas music to kind of get us in that Christmas spirit. So if you're here for it, definitely stay tuned. Don't forget to leave me a thumbs up before you head out and hit that subscribe button if you're new. I'm also going to be revealing our new bathroom. We did like a bathroom makeover. We got some new stuff in there and painted. I'm also going to be sharing a really fun idea that you can do for your delivery drivers. And I'm also going to be sharing a delicious and super easy meal idea. So today's video is definitely one you're not gonna wanna miss. Stay true. Okay, to get started, I have my front doormat here and it's kind of a dangerous thing here to have white for a front doormat, but leave it to me to do that. So I wanted to see if I could revive this rug because I've kind of been toying with the idea of getting a new one, but I was like, let me wash it first and see if I can get it clean. On camera, it doesn't really look that bad, but in person, I promise you that what should be white really was kind of like tan and just really dingy looking. So I'm going to throw it in the washing machine and use my favorite detergent, which is the Persil and wash that on a hot cycle and at the very end of the video, you'll see how it came out. I was super impressed. mess in my living room and I'm going to get started tackling this. This is my favorite room to clean by the way. Um, but before we get started cleaning this room, I wanted to share with you that today's video is actually a collab with my friend Jamie from Jamie's Journey. I love Jamie so much. She is so incredibly sweet. But when I say this, I'm being 100% genuine with you guys. If you don't know who she is and you haven't seen her videos, she is the queen of clean here on YouTube. She has the best cleaning videos. Not only does she get super great shots of what she's cleaning, but she's always cleaning things that you wouldn't even think to clean, giving you really good tips and tricks on how to clean those areas, using new and different tools, and just she's the best. So seriously, if you have not heard of Jamie, please go check out her channel. Let her know I sent you. Jamie has three little girls, two of which are twins. And then she has her older daughter, Avery, who's in first grade, just like Kensley. So she has tons of crazy messes that the kids make the twins. And she just, her channel is just great for that cleaning motivation. And Jamie is the kindest, sweetest person. I've known her almost my entire YouTube career and I just love her. So I would be so excited if you guys would go over and let her know that I sent you. If you are new and you're coming over from Jamie's channel, if she sent you over here, I'm so excited to have you here. Um, and I'm so excited that Jamie collabed with me on today's video. Um, so I'll talk a little bit more about myself in a couple of minutes, but I feel like I've been talking like this entire video. So I'm going to let you guys listen to some of this Christmas music and then I will come back and let you all my new people know a little bit about us. Christmas.
Okay, so really quickly, a little bit about me and who I am. Um, like I said in the very beginning of the video, my name is Jessica, and we are a military family. My husband is in the military. We are high school sweethearts. We've been married for, I think, 18 years. At this point, it's been so long, I get confused. So I think it's 18 years. I know that sounds terrible, but if you know, you know. We have three amazing kids. We have two girls, Madeline, who is 14, Kinsley, who is seven, and Henry, who we call Hank, who is nine months old. He was our big, huge surprise baby. Um, and we are just so excited to have him here now, but we've completely started over, so that is tons of fun. Hence all of the baby toys that you saw earlier, and there's like baby gear all over my house now. It's seriously so fun but it's definitely changed my life in the last year. My 2020 was a crazy, crazy year for us. We found out that we were expecting, and then we also found out that my husband was supposed to deploy for a year. He didn't end up having to go the entire year. We were so grateful for that. He only had to be gone for eight months, which is still an extremely long time. So I spent the very, like I spent, I think he left when I was right around 20 weeks. So I spent half of my pregnancy with him deployed and then I gave birth. He was able to come home for that. And then he had to leave again when Hank was just a couple of weeks old. And then he came back home in July when Hank was about four months old. So it's been just a crazy year for us, but I love cleaning. I love cleaning products. And um, that's basically what I share here on my channel. Yeah, isn't that amazing? In Christmas times, we'll be chilling and having a good, good time. Okay, so I have this little thing that I do every year and it's definitely not my idea. You may have seen it floating around and other people doing it, but it's so fun. And in case you haven't heard of it, I wanted to share it with you guys. And that is making a little treat station for your delivery drivers. So I'm showing you the, this little printout here and I'm going to leave a link in the description box for that printout. Um, it's totally free for you to download. I made that, you can make your own, you can find some on Google, whatever you wanna do. Um, but I made it for you guys where you can just print it out and um, you can make a little treat station for your delivery drivers because right now I know a lot of us are ordering Christmas presents online and our delivery drivers are working overtime. I know sometimes I'm getting packages delivered at like 9, 30, 10 o'clock at night, which is crazy. And I know these people are so tired and I've been told by them personally that they don't have time a lot of times on their route to even stop and get a drink or a snack so they're always so grateful i love catching them on the camera and just seeing they will a lot of times sit, tell me thank you or they will walk up and be just so surprised and it just literally makes my whole day i love it the kids love it so this is super easy you do not have to spend a ton of money in fact i used a lot of things that we already had in our pantry but the dollar tree is a great place to start or if you do have a sam's club membership you can get like snack items in bulk there. I just put a few drinks in there and a few snacks and I set it out in the morning for them if I know I have a package coming. And then I just took this frame that I already had and I put that cut that print out in there and then I just set it outside on a little table for them and it's just such a fun thing to do and I would love to have you guys join me in doing this and if you do it and you follow me on Instagram, I would love it so much if you would take a picture and tag me in it and share that with me. I love seeing everyone's like snacks that they put in there. It gives me ideas for mine um, and like your signs and like how you set it all up and everything. Pinterest has a ton of ideas as well, but I hope you guys like that I shared this with you. I think it's super fun and I hope it inspires you guys. Sleigh bells ringing, diamonds blinging, carols singing, favorite season. Sleigh bells ringing, diamonds blinging, carols singing, favorite season. Okay, so over Thanksgiving, we remodeled our half bath. I don't know if you remember what I had in here before, but I had a different vanity, a different mirror, different lighting, different faucet the towel holder, the toilet paper holder, all of it was different. Um, and the paint was even different. The paint's not a huge change. It's Agreeable Gray by Sharon Williams, I believe. Um, 
and it's not much different than what was in there, but it's a little bit different and I just really like it. It's a really pretty neutral, but I'm absolutely obsessed with this vanity. The farmhouse sink was it for me. It's huge. I love the drawer. It has plenty of storage in there for things that I keep, but I got it at Lowe's and here's the thing. So I hate sharing something that I feel like I can't like actually share with you guys if you wanted to go buy it for yourself. But from what I know, it's discontinued. I really had to fight hard to get this one. I had my heart set on it. It's what I wanted. I ordered it online. It said that it was going to ship to me, but then I got an email saying that it wasn't going to. So I went in the store and I was like, look, I don't know what's going on, but I really, really want this vanity. Is there any way that you will sell me the one that you have out on display? They told me no. I, I wouldn't take no for an answer. I said, can I please speak to your manager? I really want this vanity and they did they went and got a manager and they said I could have it so first of all if you want something definitely go for it don't forget to ask for things don't forget to ask to speak to someone else if someone else tells you no but they did they let me have it I was so grateful for that and I got it at a discount because it was the display there are different sizes of this one so it is possible maybe those different sizes are still available but this one in particular I don't think is I think it's actually like um, they phased it out but I'm not positive so I will it's the briar I believe I want to say maybe that maybe the briar is like the lighting um, these cards right here are <laughs> what came no it's Allen and Roth my bad it's Al it's by Allen and Roth um, I believe the briar is the lighting that I got but and the lighting and all that is still available it's just this vanity and um, yeah, anyways, I'm talking so much and I don't normally go on and on like this. So if you're new here, I promise I don't normally talk your ear off. I just feel like I have so much to say and so much to fit into this video. I'll try to link this vanity if anyone's interested, but that's the whole backstory that you probably didn't even care to hear. Okay, I'm done. Okay, so I had a couple of packages and I wanted to open them on camera and show you guys what I got. So from Target, I ordered this diffuser and it is so beautiful. I'm very happy with it. It's by Opal House and I think it was around $20, maybe $25 at Target. If you're interested, let me know. I'll send you the link. And um, the reason that I ordered it is because I actually, okay, so if you've been with me for a while, you guys know that I love Cincy. I use Cincy all over my house. I'm a huge Cincy fan. And... I have never tried Cincy's oils. I just made an order for their oils. They actually are coming today and I'm super excited to try them and diffuse them in this diffuser. So I wanted to get a new really pretty one to diffuse my Cincy oils. But in the meantime, I had this one. I have some random oils just sitting around that I use for things every once in a while. So I'm just putting this lavender in there because I wanted to test it out and it works great. It's actually the best diffuser I've ever owned. So that's saying a lot because I've owned a few. Um, but I'll let you guys know how I like the Scentsy oils and all of that. And hey, now is a good time to mention to follow me over on Instagram because that sort of thing I share over there. So like when that comes in today, I'm going to be sharing it with my Instagram followers. They're going to see everything I got, my opinions, all of it. They see everything there first. So if you want to follow me on Instagram, I would love to have you. And 
then I also got a new filter for my Bissell Crosswave. If you didn't know, you can order new filters for them on Amazon. It was super inexpensive. This is my old filter. I needed to, I usually like clean it out after each use, but I didn't this time, obviously. But even when I do clean it, it's the filter is like black and discolored and just disgusting. So I needed a new one. Okay, so I'm going to share with you now a super quick and easy meal idea that I think the whole family will love. This is not my original idea. I actually saw this from Kristen Stepp. I love watching her videos because she shares like the most simple, easy meal ideas and that is what I'm all about. So you're just going to take a block of Velveeta cheese and cube it up into two little pieces and you're going to throw those into your crock pot. But before you do that, and I did forget this, so don't forget, go ahead and spray it with a cooking spray. I would not use a crock pot liner for this recipe just because of the consistency of it. I feel like it wouldn't do well, but you can certainly try it if you want. Maybe it'll work out. I just didn't think it was a good idea. And then I'm just adding in a can of this, um, is that condensed milk? Is that what that's called? Oh my goodness, you guys, my cooking tutorials are literally the best. <laughs> um, no, so yeah, a little can of, I think that's condensed milk, right? And then you're going to want to get some deli, fresh deli ham. And I asked them to shave this and they did not really shave it. I mean, it's thin, but it's not what I would consider shaved. If you're going to do this recipe, ask them to shave the ham. And then I just went ahead and just tore it up into little pieces. I put it in the crock pot. Honestly, the time, basically all you're doing is melting this together. So put it on low, come back and check on it in about an hour, stir it all together, and then you can keep it on warm until you're ready to serve. I would not leave it on low for an extended amount of time because the cheese does start to burn. So I would say like let it melt on low for about an hour. And then if you need to keep it on warm, you can do that or you can just go ahead and serve. So it, it's really fast. Um, honestly, you don't even have to do this in the crock pot, but we, we know we love a good crock pot recipe because it's dump it and go. So anyways, that's all you do. It's literally those three ingredients. And then I just got some buns and served it on them. And then I like barbecue chips, so I served it with barbecue chips, but you can serve it with your favorite chips. And everybody loved it. It was super quick and easy, and I hope you guys love it too. Okay, so this is my kettle from the beautiful collection by Drew Barrymore at Walmart. I love all her stuff. I want her toaster and her air fryer, but this is just a kettle and it boils water really, really fast. And how I use it is I use it to boil water to wash bottles in. I just love doing it this way. I boil the water and then I pour it in and let the bottles soak in that hot boiling water while I'll do while I run and do other things. And then once it's cooled down just enough, I will come back and wash them in that hot water. It avoids me having to put them in like the bottle sanitizer and I just really enjoy it. You can also use it for tea or hot chocolate or, you know, I don't know if you have a good idea for what you could use a kettle for, let me know. But that's how I use mine and you can get it at Walmart. And I will try to remember to link it, but if I forget, don't hesitate to ask me because I'm always happy to share links. So I wanted to show you guys my new faucet and this really cool feature that it has. At first, when I bought this faucet, I thought that this feature was gimmicky and I didn't really know what I was gonna use it for, but I absolutely love it. And I'm gonna show you here in just a little bit how I use it and like what it's good for if you don't already know. Christmas memories I've been working so much lately I can barely find the time to sleep Yeah, I spend my time running around Keeping people pleased But this is my favorite holiday It's a chance to start over new Cause I missed you so I'm letting go of everything but you are the good times with you. 
Okay, so the purpose of that feature is it's kind of like a splashless way to rinse off plates and things like that, where in my case, high, high chair trays. So I'm washing his high chair tray constantly. And you know how when you put something in the sink and you use the little sprayer and it like splatters all over the counter and all over you and it's so annoying. Well, this feature prevents that from happening. As you can see, it doesn't splash anywhere, but it does still use that high pressure water to spray off any debris and thing like that debris and anything like that and I love it now that I've had a faucet that has that feature I feel like I couldn't live without it and just to tell you really quickly you may be wondering what happened to your old faucet a lot of people loved that faucet it was pretty it was not functional you guys I hate that faucet it was literally the worst faucet I've ever owned and don't do it girl that's all I can say is don't do it it's pretty but it is not functional to have you for myself in a cabin out in
Tomorrow it is Christmas, the first for me and you. I've longed for this moment to have you for myself in a cabin. Go outside, the snow is falling down, and every child is having so much fun. The snowman is twice the size as me, with a smile as quirky as mine. We're holding hands to keep each other warm while we stand and watch a choir performing all the Christmas songs that we love. Yeah, all the Christmas songs that we love. And then why? And for my floors, I'm doing my usual Bissell Crosswave. This is a vacuum and mop in one. I just put my Lavender Fabuloso in there and I go to town and I just love it because it's quick and easy and it gets the job done in one step. did have rolls sitting out on the counter here because they were thawing out for our dinner that night because I actually filmed the hot ham and cheese sandwiches on a different day and on this day I actually had a roast in that crock pot so that's a little secret for you guys I did not actually make that hot ham and cheese on this day it was an entirely different day so if you did catch that and you were a little confused and think I was trying to hold out on some part of the recipe, I'm definitely not. I was just making a roast and I always do the Rhodes rolls that you have to, that are like frozen and they have to thaw out. And so that's what that was. And I did not share that this time just because I have shared it before, but also I was kind of saving it for later. I've been filming up good dinners for you guys and kind of including them in my cleaning videos. So, um, you know, some of them might be repeats for new people, but a lot of them are brand new. So I may do the roast again soon. So when I was cleaning the door here, my little suction cup thing that I hold my or hang my wreath up with fell and it scared the crap out of me, you guys. Like I screamed so loud. My husband was standing there and he was like, what is wrong with you? And I shared this on Instagram and you guys were laughing at me because they were like, it was how you tried to catch it through the other side of the door for me. And I didn't even realize that, but I did. I tried to catch the wreath from the wrong side of the door, but it's because I didn't even know what it was that fell. Like it all happened so fast and it scared me so bad. You can see the look of terror on my face. You just can't hear me scream. I spared that. I spared you guys from hearing me scream. I didn't want to scare you, but it was pretty funny.
okay and now I am laying my rug down it came out brand new looking so I'm really glad that I didn't decide to spend money on another rug when this one just needed to be washed so here's your reminder to wash your rugs they usually wash up just fine I've actually never had any issues with my little accent rugs I just throw them in the washer and wash them in hot water and they come out great so anyways i hope you guys enjoyed today's video don't forget to subscribe if you're new thank you so much for coming over and checking out my video if you came over from jamie's channel and thank you to everyone who's been here for a while and continues to support me i love you guys so much and i will see you guys, guys next week today's video is going to be packed with cleaning motivation okay we are going to be doing some deep cleaning we are going to be doing some decluttering and organizing I am doing it all in this video. So you guys are gonna, if you leave this video and you are not motivated to clean, then I need to be fired from my job as a YouTube creator because this video is seriously going to be so much fun. I even did a little bit of redecorating in my daughter's room. So that's super fun. You're gonna wanna stay tuned for that. I'm also gonna be sharing a really fun new product that was sent to me and I love, I cannot wait to share with you guys. I went through all of Hank's toys. I'm super excited to share this new organizing system that I have. So definitely stay tuned. Hey, we can run All right, so my living room and my front rooms of my house pretty much stay constantly trashed. I have toys everywhere. If I have a day where I haven't stepped on a truck or a tractor, then it's probably I'm dreaming because they are literally everywhere. And I've honestly just had enough over the last year since Hank's first birthday party he has accumulated so many trucks and tractors because his dad thinks that he has to buy him one every time we go to the store because he loves them. He's obsessed. It's super cute. So I don't blame him, but we just have too many toys and he's also outgrown a lot of his toys. So I have been saying this for months and months, but I am super happy to say that in this video, I finally got down on my hands and knees and I went through all of his toys and organized them. I'm super excited to share with you that system. I think it's gonna work so good. So far, it's been a few days. So far, it's going so good. I literally, I could just squeal with excitement. I'm serious. I mean, it might sound silly, but I am so excited about this. So you aren't gonna wanna miss that. Make sure that you stay tuned. I also had some help from Kensley, so you will get to see her in there. If you've been with me from the beginning, I think she was like three when I first started doing YouTube and she was a little bitty baby and she's not anymore you guys she's so big so you you're gonna want to see her so do you guys want to hear a horror story I was filming the voiceover portion for the sponsored part of this video, which is coming up in a few minutes. And I filmed, or I didn't film, I did the voiceover for the entire thing. And I thought, wow, that went pretty smooth. Like, I'm really excited because normally it takes several times to do it to get it right. Like, you have to stop and re say it because I fumble over my words. You guys know that. And I don't have to worry about editing that out when I'm just talking to y'all because y'all are my friends and you don't care. But when I'm doing a sponsored portion, they obviously want it to sound more professional and, you know, all make sense and there not be a lot of accidents. And so I had done that. It went really well. And then I realized that my microphone was on mute the entire time. So that was fun, but it's fine. I went back, I redid it. It's all good now, but I just cannot believe like that stuff only happens to me.
All right, so normally when I'm cleaning in here, I just pick up all of these toys and I pile them in this basket here, which as you can see is just not working anymore. It's completely overflowing. So I'm just gonna go ahead and pick them off the floor, put them on this coffee table to get them out of the way. I did take them out of the room um, as well so I could like vacuum and dust everything, but we're gonna be going through those in a minute. So it's not gonna be like this anymore. It's gonna be awesome. If you're sleeping in now The cheer and you two in that bed It's stuck in my head Did it make you I am using my in-dust to dust down the coffee tables and stuff today. I love that stuff. It smells so good. It is my favorite. And that's what I use on my stainless steel too. Today's video is sponsored by Osotech. They sent me their Osotech Horizon H200. This is a vacuum and mop in one. It is completely cordless. The way that this works is it has two separate tanks. You have a clean water tank and a dirty water tank. So you are always keeping those separated from each other. It has a large LCD screen that tells you the different functions. It also has voice prompts to tell you things like you need to empty your dirty water tank or your clean water tank needs to be refilled. I love the fact that this thing lays completely flat and goes underneath of my furniture. It is the first time I have ever seen one do that and I love that feature. Another feature about this one that makes it my favorite is the fact that they put a light on it. I love when a floor cleaner has a light because as you can see here, it really shows you all of the dog hair and crumbs and things that you have on your floors that you otherwise will not see. It also has an extra wide brush roller and this makes it really good at getting up on the edge of like your baseboard. So if you go at your wall or your baseboard, head on basically the brush roll gets completely up to it and then from the side it gets up as close as I've ever seen one do so I really love that as well it does an excellent job of cleaning up wet and dry messes I have a toddler I have messes like this in my house on the daily I can go grab this off of the base and clean up that mess in literally 10 seconds and I'm good to go so when you get the box, you will get a bottle of their hard floor cleaner. I'm just filling up my tank with some warm water and then I'm adding about a cap full of that cleaner. Now some other things that I wanna note about this are the fact that the battery life is very long. So you guys know how big my downstairs is and I was able to do the entire downstairs as well as just getting those extra clips for you guys to show you like the features and stuff. And my battery, when I was completely done, was still at 75%. So I could have kept going for probably another hour. So the battery life is not going to be an issue at all. So with me having so much hard flooring in my home, a vac mop is a must. I highly recommend one if you have been thinking about getting one. They are awesome. And I really love this one. This one is one of my favorites that I've tried. You guys know that I've tried several. This one has several features that the other ones I have tried do not have, like the light and like the fact that it lays completely down. And those are things that I have really come to enjoy now since I've been using it. It just puts enough water on your floor to get them clean, but they dry super fast. So you don't have to worry about your floors being wet for even a minute. I mean, it probably dries within 15 seconds. So I really like that fact as well. This would make an excellent gift for anyone on your Christmas list this year. Anyone who has a home that has floors in it, they need one of these. <laughs> This can be purchased on Amazon. I'll have the link in the description box as well as any coupon codes and any extra information. Something else that's important and I was thinking about as I was watching this footage back is the fact that it does pick up larger debris. So for example, a Fruit Loop or a Cheerio, it will pick that up no problem at all. It has super strong suction. 
So when you're done, you're going to just take out your dirty water tank. I'm showing you it here. It's super thin. I just dumped my dirty water into the toilet. And as you can see, it picked up so much off of my floor. It's so gross. And I love that they have this little catcher in there as well that catches all of the crumbs and dog hair. So you can keep that separate from the water. So for example, if you don't want to flush that down the toilet, you can maybe just knock that off into the trash can. And then all you have to do is set it back on its self-charging base. You click the button for self cleaning and it self cleans and then I just take the brush roller out and allow it to dry and that's it. If you guys have any questions about that Horizon H200 by Osotech, let me know. I will be happy to answer them for you. I feel like I know a lot about them at this point because I've tried so many and I know like what I like and what I don't like. And I really like this one a whole lot. Like I was really pleasantly surprised when I got it out and started trying it. Like you should have seen my face when I had it and I turned it on. It probably took me a good minute though to realize that it had a light. And then when I realized it, had a light I was like oh my gosh it's my favorite New boy, same tricks. All right, I wanted to tidy up these front rooms, clean the floor, get it all good and clean because I've said this a hundred times, I'll say it again. Here's my sweet Tucker boy. When I'm doing a deep cleaning, organizing, decluttering, I have to do it in an already clean space. That's just the way it works for me. I have ADHD, I don't know if that's why, but I do recommend doing it that way. I feel like it goes a lot better. So that's all you have to worry about. You're not getting things mixed up or whatever, so. I have a clean blank canvas basically, and now I'm bringing in all the toys. So I did recruit my little helper, Kensley. If you haven't been with me for a very long time, this is my middle daughter and she will be eight in December. I cannot believe it, you guys. She will be eight. It's so sad, but look at her. Like she's so tall and beautiful. Her hair is so long and she's actually a brunette now. Well, she's a dirty blonde, but we basically call her a brunette because we're all blondies and she has like we think blonde we think she has like more brown hair especially in our family pictures her hair looks really brown but anyhow i recruited her i did pay her to help me so she is getting to go spend her money at she wants to go to the dollar general and truth be told she'll probably buy candy with her money but hey it's her money she worked hard she earned it she was an awesome helper for me on this day she did not complain she had high energy. It was awesome to get her help. So this really helped me to get this done a lot quicker. And I was dreading this. I thought it was going to be worse than it was. It actually was not hard. It was really quick. So what I did was I bought these plastic containers with lids. I did get the blue ones from Sam's Club. I think it came in a pack of four. And then I had some in the basement as well. And what I'm doing is just Kind, there's not really a rhyme or a reason to what toys I'm putting into what bin, but I'm just putting in some random toys. And what I'm going to do is put one bucket into the basket a week. And then at the end of the week, I'll put them back into the plastic bin, put that up and get a new one out. And that way, one, I don't have 500 tractors and trucks all over my house. And two, it's like him getting new toys. So he doesn't get bored of the toys. It's recycling them. So I'm super excited about this system. So far, it's been going great. I do have a large toy box in the living room as well, and that has his larger toys in it. So he has other toys besides just what's in those bins, but it's easier to keep track of the big ones in that toy box. I did get a package from Target as I was filming, so I thought I would just share it with you. I got this really cute tote bag from Target and it was only $10. Can you believe that? Because I can't. And then I got some water wipes because I've been wanting to try them. And so I took one out to see if they were really wet because I appreciate a wipe that's really wet. And they are, I'm happy to say they are. So I'm excited about that. And then I got some new sippy cups for Hank because he's kind of outgrown his 
more baby sippy cups and needs to kind of move up to more grown up, not grown up, but big boy sippy cups. So I got some of those to try. So far, I really like them. They're really easy to clean. I would lose control, made me feel like there was no tomorrow. Should have told you. And then I just grabbed a box and I'm putting all of his baby toys that he's outgrown into this box and they will be going to his little cousin that was just born. We're super excited about that. And so he will get to have all of those toys. So here's all the bins. I did have, I think one or two empty left over. So it's perfect after Christmas, I have some extra bins. And as you can see, I'm just dumping it in the basket. I'm putting the bin into my cabinet right here and good to go. So I highly recommend and encourage you to try this system. If you have kids and you have toys everywhere, try it and let me know how it goes for you. Okay, so now in the kitchen, I have been needing to wash these curtains forever. And it's because we sit there and Hank's in his high chair. He's throwing food and stuff. I mean, honestly, they're just pretty gross. So I am taking them down to wash them today. And I wanted to know, I got these from Target. I love them but they did come already different sizes it was really weird so some of them were touching the ground and some weren't and that always bothered me but i wasn't going to go out and buy new ones because curtains are expensive so i've just lived with it for i think three years now that i've had these curtains but after i washed them now they're all the same size which is kind of cool but they don't touch the ground they are like above the ground but i think that it's probably for the best considering where they are that they don't touch the ground but they're all the same size now so we're really excited about that but if you are going to wash your curtains be really careful treat them gently you do not want to dry them on heat i just dried mine air dry only no heat and then i that basically kind of got the wrinkles out of them and then i just let them air dry the rest of the way I did put extra cleaning stuff in there, by the way, if you think that was a lot, because I wanted them to smell really, really good. So that's why I put so many scent beads in there. <laughs> Should have told you that you're beautiful. I wonder where are you now? My new kitchen table should be here any day. I'm actually hoping that I get a call tomorrow saying that it's ready. If not, I think I'm going to call tomorrow and see if there's an update because they told me the 1st of November or at the latest, the middle of November. And I would consider the middle of November to be like the 15th. So I'm really hoping to have my new table soon. Uh, I have been wanting a new table for so long. I've talked about this before, but if you didn't catch me talking about it, this one I got off marketplace. And while you can't tell on camera, it looks nice, but in person, the, the person who I bought it from redid it. And so the stain on the top is just not done very well. And, um, it's got like glitter stuck in it and it's like tacky and it's missed, like it's started to wear off and the chairs are really bad. The oak that it originally was has come through and they just look really bad and it just wasn't ever what I really wanted. 
So I bought it off Marketplace because I needed a table in there and it was cheap and I've kept it for three years. So now it's time that I get an upgrade. So hopefully that will be in my next video. This is our half bath. You guys don't see it a whole lot. It's right off of the kitchen, but I'm giving it a good deep clean today. We got this really cute vanity from Lowe's. I love it so much. It had a different vanity in there when we bought the house. I did not like it at all. This one is so cute, but the sink is really hard to clean. It's hard to keep. I don't know. It's like kind of like at an angle and stuff kind of sits there and then it dries and it leaves this weird ring and then it's really hard to get out, but it's worth it because it's so pretty. I don't even know. So a couple of things here. I do, I did just take that toilet, um, the toilet paper holder, it was sitting up there because one of my children, I will not name which one, knocked out of the wall completely, knocked out of the wall, our toilet paper holder. I don't know how or why that person did it, but they did. And it's going to be like a whole thing. We're going to have to patch drywall and everything to get it fixed. So it's just been sitting there and we don't have a toilet paper holder. So that kind of sucks. But the other thing is I know somebody's going to say it. I already know it. So I'm going to address it. That shelf. Everybody wants to tell me that shelf is upside down. Maybe it is. Maybe it is. But here's the thing. I looked it up on Hobby Lobby. I don't think it's there anymore, but because it's, I've had it for a few years, but when everybody was telling me it was upside down, I was like, no, it is not. No, it is not. I went on Hobby Lobby and I pulled up the ad for it, like the picture and I, it was not upside down. I had it the same way that they had it. And then I asked my husband, come in here and look at the shelf. Is it upside down? And he was like, no, I don't think it is. So maybe it is, but I'm telling you, I don't think it is. So you can think it is, I don't think it is, but I think it's cute and I love it regardless of if it's upside down or not.
for my littler bathrooms, I usually will just get down on my hands and knees and clean the floor because I can get the baseboards that way. And I'm telling you, if you get down on your hands and knees, you will see dirt that you did not know was there. It's kind of an eye opener, but I just, instead of breaking out the mop and bucket for just this small space, I will just get on my hands and knees and do it this way. So that's what I'm doing in here. It's just quick and easy. And then I can get like behind the toilet, the baseboards and behind this vanity and everything. I'm laying down at the compiling. Oh no, I see you only when you're balling. Oh no, I don't even care to die. I see you in the wild, cause this time I will choose you. Yeah, I'll choose. You know exactly how they look like this. Holding in a bag full of goods and needs. I need a night like this. It's a risk cause you're using it You've got all your secrets I can seem to move this thing You're pulling me out and I'm right back I'm on the sideline where you wanted me I'm by the byway All right, so now I need to clean up my son's room. He was a little sick. I, he was actually never really sick. He just got the snots and, you know, kids get snotty noses all of the time, especially this time of year. He never ran a fever. He never felt under the weather, nothing, but he had really, really bad snot. And then he developed a cough from that because it was draining down into his chest. So I had humidifiers going in there um, to try and break up that for him so he would feel better quicker. So um, I was just picking those up. He is much better now. He actually does still have a little bit of a cough. It's not nearly as bad. It's just maybe one or two times a day, but finally his nose has dried up and he's not snotty, but I'm sure it's only a matter of time before he's snotty again. I did get him these pillowcases off of Amazon. It was a pack of two. If you want the link, I will try so hard <laughs> to remember to link them. If I forget, just remind me. Um, but I had put a pillow in there during this sickness time because I didn't want him laying flat. He's a belly sleeper. He will sleep on his belly all night, every night, does not sleep on his back. And I didn't want him laying flat with having that drainage. So I wanted to kind of put him at an angle. So I put a pillow in there for him and laid him up on that. And he actually ended up loving it. So now he has a pillow. He's a big boy and he gets a pillow and he loves his pillow. And I feel like that has helped a lot with him being able to breathe at night. So something I have not done in probably a year or more is do this like carpet powder. And I don't know, I just had a wild hair and thought, hey, I haven't done that in a while. I'm going to do it. So I'm sprinkling some of that carpet refresher on the carpet to vacuum it up. I like to do that every once in a while. It's not something I do very often, but every once in a while, it's nice. It really freshens up the room and makes it smell good for like literally days. So that's what I did on this day. We do plan to get new carpet, hopefully soon. It's just something that I've been putting off because it's such a huge job. We're gonna have to break apart furniture and I don't even know where we're gonna put it <laughs> while they're putting the pulling the old carpet up and putting the new in, but we definitely need new carpet. This carpet is very stained from the previous owners. They've spilled paint on it. There's some mystery stains. We have no idea what they are. And then my kids and my dogs have given it their touch as well. So it's also stained from us. So we need new carpet up here really bad. So sometime, hopefully really soon, I'm going to be getting that. And I think I'm going to do more of like a gray color instead of this beige. 
now it was time to go ahead and put those curtains in the dryer so I'm just getting my cleaning rags out of there and I'm going to throw them in and just a reminder no heat just tumble dry only and then I got them out and let them air dry And then when that was done, I went ahead and also threw in a load of laundry of my daughter. And what you see here is me, a, lo a load of my laundry of my daughter. What am I saying? What you see there is me trying to figure out which cycle or mode on there, which selection or whatever, would let me do no heat. And it took me a minute because I've never done that before, but I did find it. Actually, that wasn't my cleaning rags that I took out. That was my face cleaning rags and my towels. I thought it was my cleaning rags. I have cleaning rags to fold in this video as well, but that was my rags that I used to take off my makeup and stuff. If anyone has gotten new carpet ever or even recently and they have anything at all they want to tell me about it, I would love that. I, I've never gotten new carpet in a house before, so I don't really know what to expect. Um, and also, if you've got new carpet, like a type of carpet that you really like, let me know because that's really hard for me. I think that's going to be another part that I struggle with is finding like there's so many different kinds of carpet. I definitely know some that I don't want for various reasons, but I want to get good, high quality carpet considering we have pets, we have kids, and I don't want to have to replace it again before we move. Eventually we will move. My husband will retire from the army and we do not plan to stay here. So that will happen um, in probably like four years. So I want the carpet to be high quality so that it's going to still look really good in four years because I do take care of things. So I figure that it, it should still <laughs> look good in four years. Trying to understand what if this doesn't go as planned? So this is Kensley's room and it is a mess. So a few things, I took down her curtains and I took off her bedding and I replaced all that with new. She got a new shower curtain and a new rug. Now they're not new. They were Maddie's things that I have just folded up and kept in case we needed them because they were still good. We just had changed for whatever reason. So they were kind of new to Kinsley. However, they won't be there for long and they don't necessarily match her room perfectly, but I had to take that comforter that she had on her bed off and wash it anyways. And since that process takes so long and I didn't want to wait, I just wanted to go ahead and put something else on her bed. But plus that bedding, we love it so much, but it has a huge tear in it and all of the stuffing is coming out. And unfortunately I cannot sew. So it probably is going to have to go in the trash. And I hate that because it's really nice, but 
I can't sew and I don't know anyone who can that lives close to me. So it is what it is. We've used it for a couple of years now. So it got its use out of it. But we do plan to paint her room. We're kind of over the pink. We're really over the pink. We plan to paint her room and redecorate, give her a little bit more of a big girl room. And hopefully we will be able to do that soon. I want to take her to Hobby Lobby and like let her pick out some things um, so I can kind of get a vibe of like what she wants and then I can kind of finish it off for her. But look for that. Hopefully that will be soon. I have a lot of things that I want to do, but that requires money and time. And sometimes like, especially with the holidays coming up, it's just things get away from me. There's lots that I'm excited about and want to do, but then I can't find the time or I don't want to spend the money on it because everything is so expensive. Like it's ridiculously expensive. We got Chinese food this weekend, you guys, $70 for Chinese food. Ridiculous. Like it's almost like where we can barely afford to fill up our car with gas and eat even groceries, you know, because I cook at home at least four days a week. So we're eating at home. We're eating, you know, relatively inexpensive meals and just like basic things you need to live are outrageously expensive. So thinking about redoing a room right now is probably not the best time. What I said could make you change your mind. Kensley does have this little TV that I put in her room for her a couple of weeks ago because she had a friend over and they were watching a movie and I just haven't taken it out. I don't really like for my kids to have TVs in their room. That's not something that I do usually, but I let her have it in there because she's getting older to where just about a year ago, she, when she was playing, she would want to be at my feet playing. You know, if I was downstairs, she wanted to be downstairs. If I was upstairs, she wanted to be upstairs. But now that she's a little bit older, she's kind of finally at the point where she can self entertain and she wants to go to her room and have her privacy. So she'll go in there during the day and like watch TV or something. And it's been working out. So I let her do that. We don't do TV at night at bedtime. Um, I think personally it creates bad sleep habits and it's just not something we do in this house. So she just has it in there for like during the day when she wants to watch TV. And it's kind of nice because we kind of actually fight over our TV in the living room because dad wants it when he's home and Hanky needs it when I need to get stuff done. And, uh, and then Kensley comes down or home from school and she's wanting to watch something. So it's kind of nice for her to have her own TV. What I need. It's an understatement To walk alone I guess it's my prepayment Please give me a light Show me what I need I know I'm blind But I hear symphonies Of your Simply.
into this house this bathroom was a bright or like a dark bright I guess if that's a thing a dark bright <laughs> teal color I did not like it at all so I did repaint her bathroom I think before I even thought about being pregnant with Hank I think it was then and it's the color alpaca oh yeah alpaca I love it it's a really pretty beigey gray very good neutral I love 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 that color so I did paint her bathroom so that's good to go and in this video in a couple of seconds you will see I did put up a different shower curtain it's just one I had laying around I tend to keep them if they're in good shape because after a year or so I can switch them out and it's like getting a new one even though it's not but it's just fun to change up decor in your house so a lot of times I'll hold on to things like that so that it's kind of like getting something new but I don't have to spend any money
I also had that sign from some other time that I've decorated her room and I remembered. So I went and grabbed that as well because I felt like it matched a little bit better. All right, so now the curtains are ready to be hung back up. I'm gonna go ahead and hang them back up. You will probably be able to see if you pay attention at the bottom how they drew up a little bit. I, I don't know why they shrunk because I did not use any heat on them at all. So be careful if you're going to wash curtains and know that they may shrink a little bit. But at least they're all even now, so that's a good thing. If you made it this far, thank you so much for watching my videos. It means so much to me. I love you guys. You're always so supportive and kind in the comments. I'm losing my voice. <clears throat> I've literally been doing voiceover for probably an hour and a half now, and my throat is starting to hurt. So I'm so glad that we're coming to the end of this video. I hope it gave you guys motivation. Don't click out just yet because behind the scenes are coming and I will see you next week. You are going to put it up with your game. Hey guys, today's video is going to be so much fun. I'm getting some cleaning done on the outside of my home as well as cleaning some areas of my home that I don't clean all too often. I'm also sharing two different recipes in this video, so you're definitely going to want to stay tuned for those, but we've got some deep cleaning in here and it's going to be great. So if you're here for some cleaning motivation or you just want to hang out with me, then definitely stay tuned. Thinking about the way it was My baby, just the two of us We had it all, but we got lost With nothing left to say Days turned into months All right, 
to get started today, I'm going to be cleaning the inside and outside of my front door as well as my storm door. I'm using some glass cleaner that I found in my stash. This is from Grove Collaborative and it's a concentrate. So you just pour in that whole glass bottle into some water. I just wanted to use something different today. So that's what I was using. It smells really good. I think it did a great job of cleaning my glass and I just went ahead and used it on the door as well. As you can see, I've got my little buddies there helping me. As soon as I open that door, they are ready to run outside and go chase birds. So they were really aggravated that they could not go outside. And I don't know why I didn't let them out. I don't, I don't really even know why. Maybe I just didn't want them to knock my tripod over. <laughs> I do still have my fall decor out. As you can see, I'm going to be taking all of that down very soon and putting my Christmas stuff up, but I did want to enjoy it for at least another week because I really like fall decor. It's probably my favorite season to decorate for. I probably need to paint our front door. We've not ever painted it since we moved in and it's pretty scuffed up. Um, I just need to give it a fresh coat of white. You can't really tell on camera. It looks pristine, but in real life, I promise you it is not. And I really also need to take the pressure washer and clean off our front porch as well, but that's like a whole thing. So I'm just doing the best I can on this day. We have lots of bugs and spider webs that get caught up around our door. It just gets really dirty and it doesn't, it seems like it's under a roof. We have a covered front porch and it's just like, how does it get that dirty for real? But it really gets it's filthy out here and fast too. I did go ahead and put Mr. Pumpkin head up for the season because he's definitely more Halloween. I tried my hardest to make a Mr. Pumpkin like Ashley from Till Vacuum Do Us Part makes a Mr. Pumpkin every year. He's like kind of like think scarecrow and he sits on her front porch swing and he was so cute and she made it look so easy and I could not get Mr. Pumpkin's head to stay up. His body looked great, but I could not get his head to sit up. So I honestly, I gave it like <laughs> probably 15, 20 minutes and I was done. So he sat on our porch headless for a couple of weeks. And finally, I just put his body up and said, not today, Mr. Pumpkin, not today. So maybe next year, but I just could not figure out how to get his head to stay up. So that was his head. We just put him down and plugged him in. All right, now for the kitchen, as you can see, there are toys everywhere. Hank went to the toy box on this morning and literally just chucked out all of his toys, threw them up over his shoulder. I heard the noise. I looked over. I was like, okay, so that's the kind of day this is going to be. <laughs> also, my table. I just got the text that it is in. I cannot wait. I'm so excited. So it should be in my next video. So look for that. The kids were home from school this day because it was voting day. So I have Kinsley here cleaning up her mess. And if you were wondering about her makeup, she decided to be Harley Quinn on this day. She came downstairs with red and blue makeup and she wanted to wear that to Target, but I talked her out of it. Today's video is sponsored by Ofuzzy. They sent me their H8 Apex Cordless Handheld Vacuum Cleaner. This little thing is small but mighty. It weighs only 1.2 pounds. It comes with these four different accessories. You have the crevice nozzle, the push-in brush, the multi-surface brush, and the pet hair brush. I was a little skeptical at first, I'm not going to lie, but this thing packs some serious power and can suck up any mess that I've given it. Example, it can suck up Cheerios, Fruit Loops, macaroni noodles. And it also has two power levels. The battery life lasts up to 30 minutes. I have found so many uses for this little thing. I absolutely love it. I'm actually wanting to get a second one to keep in my car at all times because there are always messes in my car as a mom. And I have actually always wanted one of these little handheld cordless vacuums. 
I have used it to clean off my countertops in my kitchen, the high chair, the oven. I've used it to vacuum our couch because we do get pet hair on that. I've also found my most favorite way to use it is for our stairs. We have hardwood stairs and Bailey goes up and down those stairs and she gets her hair all over them. And I have been lugging the bigger vacuum up there and this just makes that so much easier. And it also gets cat hair off with its little pet hair tool. And as you can see, here it will even suck up cereal pieces it does come with the cord to charge it and it takes about three to four hours to fully charge and then you've got about 30 minutes of runtime as you can see here it does do a great job of sucking up pet hair the stainless steel filter and HEPA filter are washable and reusable. It filters out 99.95% of particles and the canister is large enough that you can do several jobs without having to empty it. So don't just take my word for it. Amazon has hundreds of five-star reviews on this little guy, but I really do like it. I'm gonna be using it throughout this entire video so you'll get to see more of it in action, but check out the description box. I'll have it linked down there as well as any discount codes. I also wanted to mention, this is very important, they are gonna be having some early access sales before Black Friday. So if you wanna get a little ahead of the game and go ahead and purchase it early, it is gonna be on sale early. I'll have all that information linked for you. I got you stuck in the I have had several of you over the years ask me to do like an oven cleaning video and to be honest with you, my oven just really isn't that dirty. We do use it, so I'm not sure. I mean, as you can see the dust here, as I'm saying, it's not that dirty, <laughs> but honestly, like it's never gotten to a point where I feel like, oh man, I really need to clean my oven, but I decided to clean it today because I have been putting it off and I did notice that it was really dusty up around that vent. So I thought it would be a perfect time to do it. Now that I have this little handheld vacuum, it makes it really easy. So I just went in and kind of sucked up any of the dropped um, baked food, sucked all of those crumbs up and then just kind of wiped it out. You are going to absolutely want to stay tuned for the behind the scenes in today's video because it probably took me, no lie, 10 to 15 minutes to figure out how to get the oven racks out. We had to YouTube it. Maddie was standing there trying to help me. It was a whole thing, but I did finally get it. Sometimes we'd run out of words to say, but we didn't mind. Cause we could lay on the ground and just stare into each other's eyes. And I remember when you kissed me. I felt the taste of your lipstick, even the breath of your ripped jeans. I can still see it all. Now you can't tell here unless maybe you look really, really closely, but on this glass, I do have something on it that I have been unable to get off. I shared this in another video a while ago and I got so many tips and tricks and honestly, I tried just about every single one of them. It will not budge. It's like something splattered in there and then baked onto the glass and it's almost like it's just now permanent. I've tried letting it soak. I've tried different cleaning tools, different cleaning products. It does not even fade. So I don't know what to do about that. But if I mean, people have said to use like um, the Pink Stuff Miracle Cleaner. I actually did try that off camera. It didn't work. I've tried Soft Scrub, Barkeeper's Friend. I've tried different scrubbing tools it will not come off. I've even tried a little scraper, not like a razor blade, because I'm scared to do that on glass, but I have used um, like a little rubber scraper to try and get it off, and I can't get it to budge, and I don't even know what it is. All right, per usual, I'm using my Indust to clean the stainless steel portion. And there's a clip coming up here in a second. You will see I'm cleaning the outside. This is a double oven, so they're exactly the same, just one on the top and one on the bottom. We do use the bottom one 
periodically, very rarely. So I honestly was not even thinking about it at all. And you're gonna see a clip where I'm down there cleaning the stainless steel and I realized that I didn't clean it and that it's there. Like it was my moment of just realizing that I had another oven. Cause with you everything was better. Remember when you kissed me? Alright, now I'm going to clean my microwave and to do that I just fill up a bowl of water and I put in there, I usually do about 6 minutes and it just gets really sweaty in there and moisturized and it like breaks down anything that might be stuck on and then when it's done I just take a rag and go in there and wipe it all out and it's super quick and easy. And I have this little topper that I got on Amazon. I'll try to remember to link it for you. And this is just like a splatter thing that you put over things that might pop and explode. And it helps to keep your microwave cleaner for much, much longer. And then it just magnetizes to the top of the microwave. So I do have two food segments coming up for you guys. So if you want to see that, definitely stay tuned. I've got a cinnamon roll hack from TikTok and I'm also making some breakfast burritos. Also decided that it was a good idea for me to go ahead and deep clean the dishwasher so I'm taking out the dirty dishes that were in there and I'm just gonna put a cup of vinegar in the top rack and run a cycle and just let it kind of clean out all of the components and um, I did put some vinegar in the little soap dispenser as well, but I have found that it hasn't been doing a very good job recently. Although I have cleaned the filter out, I cleaned it out again, but I figured it was probably a time, it was probably time to go ahead and just do a deep clean. So I did that and hopefully it'll start cleaning better because I don't know what it is. Sometimes it's not releasing the little um, dishwasher tablet and I know that that's why but sometimes it does and it's still not getting clean and we haven't really had a problem up until now so I don't really know what's going on. So yeah, I had all three kids home on this day and Maddie, my oldest, was helping me with Hank, but he spotted me and because we try to keep him to where like he can't even see me when I'm busy and she's watching him because if he sees me, he wants me and he spotted me. So he wanted me to hold him and was pulling on me and whining. You'll see that in behind the scenes, but 
Um, he spotted me, but I did. I had all three kids home on this day, and sometimes you would think that maybe that would be helpful, but it's kind of... It's kind of a mix of both because that morning Kinsley helped me with him a lot because they're like best friends. They play and they just love each other and it's so cute. And so they played in her room for several hours actually, which is incredible and rare. <laughs> um, and then later Maddie was able to help me, but it's also chaos because they're all home and I have to feed them all and they're all making messes and then they're arguing and all of the uh, things that go into having kids. So it's stressful to have them all home at the same time when I'm trying to work. up this the pink stuff multi-purpose um miracle cleaner <laughs> i think it was at lowe's and i wanted to see what it was all about and it smells really really good and i do like it so i have been using it i wanted to try it on my cabinets and so i did and i did not i was honestly just i had so much to do this day i still had to run errands in town and I had so much going on that I didn't feel like getting the stool and like actually washing the cabinets top to bottom, but I do have to keep up with washing them regularly because they are white. So sometimes I will just go in and get where I can reach and especially around like the places we touch, like the knobs. But something that I have noticed in the last few months happening to my cabinets is that they are yellowing down by where we touch them the most. So like around the knobs and stuff, they're starting to yellow and nothing so far that I have tried has taken that off. And they're too new to be looking antique. I am worried about what they're going to look like five years from now. I'm kind of honestly stressed about it. So if you've ever experienced that, let me know. I really don't know. Google says like baking soda and vinegar, but honestly, I don't even think that that's going to do it, but I can definitely try um, but I clean my cabinets all the time. You guys know that I'm super clean. If somebody spills something on them, I wipe it off right away. So I have no idea what's going on.
Alright, I saw on TikTok, well actually I didn't see it on TikTok, I heard somebody talking about them seeing it on TikTok. So I looked it up on Google and I saw that there's like this new way to make cinnamon rolls, store-bought cinnamon rolls. Now we've made cinnamon rolls like this for years, but I've never tried this hack so I wanted to try it. So basically you just get a can of store-bought uh, cinnamon rolls and you're going to pour in some heavy whipping cream. Now the recipe that I watched said to do a half a cup and I think that was entirely too much for as many cinnamon rolls as I had. They were swimming in it. So I'll be completely transparent. When I was done baking these, I dumped some of that heavy whipping cream into the sink because I felt like if I left it in there, they were going to be super soggy. So next time I do this, I'll definitely use far less, like maybe a fourth of a cup, just enough to like cover each cinnamon roll. What this does is basically make them really moist and just delicious. And I do highly recommend doing it this way because it did take them to a whole other level. Super good. I don't feel like it changed the flavor of them at all, but it changed the consistency of them and they were so good. All right, so now I'm going to be cleaning out our Keurig and I'm just going to be using this descaler that I got from Amazon as well as putting in a new charcoal filter. So I'm going to be cleaning the outside as well as the inside and then descaling it as well. So you can just take these little parts out if you have this exact one, but I'm sure most of them are similar. So just kind of take a look at yours, maybe YouTube it. It says for the filter to let it soak in water for about 30 minutes before you put it in. So that's what I'm doing. And then I keep a little cleaning toothbrush for jobs like this where I need to get into little tight spaces. So I'm just taking my toothbrush and wiping out what I can get to in there anyways. So the coffee has finally began to stain the plastic and somebody suggested, somebody suggested, good Lord, somebody suggested, why can I not talk today? Using a um, magic eraser. And so I tried that and I thought I had high hopes for that thing. I really thought that it was going to work and it didn't, it didn't work at all. So it is what it is. I'm wanting to replace this eventually anyways. Um, it's pretty old. I want to put this in our camper for when we go camping and get a different one for in the house. So as you can see here, all of that build up on the tank and that's the old filter in there. And never mind me trying to put the little container that holds that filter back in wrong. I did figure it out later, but I did get this descaler on Amazon. You can also use white vinegar, but I bought, I think it came in a two pack and you use half a bottle to a tank. And then what you're gonna do is let that run through until it empties out that tank. And then you're gonna refill the tank with just water and let that run through two to three more times just to make sure that you're clearing everything of that descaler. And it does a really good job of cleaning and this is the way that I've always done it. So while it's doing its thing, I'm gonna wash all of these little parts with some hot soapy water. It always comes right off. And this is something that doesn't make sense to me, is why did the coffee not stain 
these parts that are the same plastic, but it stained the part that's on the machine. Like that doesn't make any sense to me, but whatever. So yeah, this is quick and easy and I'm just going to wash off using my toothbrush again to get in there and get all of that nasty old coffee out of there. A couple hours from Japan, would you stay awake? I'm losing touch of who I am when you're far away. And I feel like I'm running in circles around you. Mm. And I know I've been acting strange for a while. But I want you close. All right, and now I wanted to go ahead and clean my floors because after all of that cleaning, definitely I got some things on the floor. So I'm just using my wet dry mop vac thingy. Um, this one is by Osotech and I really like it. I did a video on it last week if you're interested. I'll also link it for you in the description box, but I love this thing. It helps me so much because I don't have to vacuum and then mop. I do it both at the same time and it does a really excellent job of both. So it's quick and easy and it helps this busy mama out. Am I going too far? But I want you close. Mm -hmm. Closer than before. But I want you close.
So I did also share in last week's video how I've organized and the new system that we are using for my son's toys. So if you have a little one that has a lot of toys, you're definitely going to want to check that video out and get some tips and, and maybe an idea for how to do it for your kids toys because I'm super stoked about it. I am just so happy the way that it is and it has saved me from having 515 tractors all over my house and from stepping on them. Um, and I find that he just plays better. So um, definitely check that out. And then I'm also today, I'm going to be taking all my pillows and blankets off and washing them. You didn't get to see them come out of the dryer because I just got busy when I was done filming and never got around to it, but I did wash them and put them back on the couch. I love having this little handheld vacuum for cleaning the dog hair out of all the little cracks and crevices of our leather couch. We also get crumbs and food all over it as well. So just because it's leather doesn't mean that it doesn't get dirty. It's just way easier to clean a leather couch. But if you do have an upholstery couch, is that what is that how we would say it? But just like a cloth couch, whatever. <laughs> um, this little handheld vacuum would still work excellent for you for that because of the attachment. And I've tried it on like my little, my kitty's um, window perch and the suction is no joke. It got all her cat hair off. So I, I have some serious confidence in it. I won't make it easy for you now. You got two minutes of my time. dreams tonight oh so give me so give me your all i'll take it i'll take it to mars oh i'll stick like glue inside your mind just watch me break it Watch me pray. have a love hate relationship with our wood stairs. I think they're absolutely beautiful, but I also think they're dangerous because you could slip and fall really easy on these things, but they also show everything and they are a high traffic area. So it's inevitable that they're going to be dirty. And I've been using, I've been breaking apart my cordless, like my normal cordless vacuum to clean them. And honestly, this is Kinsley's chore. It used to be Maddie's, but it, she's passed it on to Kinsley. I think two to three days a week, she's supposed to vacuum the stairs and it's been going okay. But the annoying part of that process is the fact that I've got to go break it apart and put it together for her, like the way that she needs it to do the stairs she can't reach it to do it. So I have to do it for her. And then it's heavy for her because I can't remember exactly how much the motor of that vacuum weighs. I mean, it's light for an adult, but for a child, it's pretty heavy. So it's kind of a pain for her to do. And I've been struggling internally with whether or not I should take that chore back from her and give it back to Maddie and like maybe let them swap a different chore because maybe she wasn't quite ready for it. But then... I got this thing and no, I am so excited. Kinsley's going to love it. I think it's going to actually be fun for her to use because she can go grab this on her own and do it really fast on her own. She doesn't need any help and it's super lightweight at 1.2 pounds. She can do it and she's going to be eight in a month and she's teeny, teeny, tiny. 
and it's going to be no problem for her. So I'm really excited about having it. If for anything else, literally just for that. Don't talk about it like you're crazy. You know damn well I can't. And then I'm going to be using my Rejuvenate Hardwood Floor Cleaner to wipe down the wood stairs. This was a job, y'all. This was a workout. So the white painted part behind them had something splattered all up on it on pretty much every step. And I have no idea what it was. It was kind of a brown color. And I think for a while I had seen it and I thought that it was stained from when they stained these floors because these floors used to be oak. They stained them this color. And I thought maybe they had just done a terrible job and splattered the stain up there, but it came right off. So I'm super excited about that. And now they look really clean and white and bright. You look at me as absent. It's like you're walking through a labyrinth. Just say what, what's going on? Don't waste your time being on. All right, so now I'm going to be making some breakfast burritos. You guys definitely stay tuned. I have never made these before, but I decided that I wanted to do these for my husband because he eats a lot. The man eats probably five meals a day, and I'm not even kidding you guys. So I wanted to make something that he could grab on the go in the mornings to take to work with him. He usually fasts in the morning. He goes to the gym, and then he doesn't eat until about 10, 1030. And I wanted to have something he could just take, put in his little fridge, and then microwave when he was ready to eat. So I just got some sausage, and I went ahead. I really didn't measure anything. I just did a whole package of sausage and then I had seven eggs left in this carton. So I did seven eggs. So really just eyeball it for how much you think. Um, so I'm just going to scramble those up. I added a little bit of milk and a little bit of pepper and a little bit of garlic seasoning. And I whipped that all together. All right, and then I did put my cheese in there with the eggs and I mixed that all up. And then I mixed, I poured that egg mixture in with my sausage and just cooked it. That way you could do it separately, but I just thought it would be easier to do it this way. So that's how I did it. So I just basically cooked them just like you would scook, cook, scook, just like how you would scook, cook scrambled eggs until I felt like the eggs were done. And then I really, this was a learning curve for me because I didn't really know how to properly roll a burrito and I overstuffed a few. So, you know, I got better towards the end for sure. So next time I do this, I will definitely do better. But one thing that I did learn was I should have gotten the bigger size tortillas. I think these are the small size tortillas. I should have went with the larger ones. I think it would have been easier. And then also with wrapping them in the aluminum foil, as you can see the first one versus the second one, that was also a learning curve. So I figured it out though, and I feel like they turned out really, really good. In fact, I got a text to, today that said, the breakfast burritos were amazing. Have you tried them? And thank you. So he really, really likes them. Um, next time I make them, I might make them with pepper jack cheese instead just because he likes pepper jack cheese and I thought that would be nice and it would be nice to change them up too so he doesn't get bored with them. So if you make breakfast burritos, let me know what are your favorite things to add in them and give me some ideas. Hello, how'd you do? I'm not broken, I'm just split in two Hope you're fine, ain't got time To do everything you said you would Frames of the past and The memory of you just come running by Pictures of sunny days With your smile and the bar How could they say I was broken? So then I just went ahead and put the dates on them and stuck them in the freezer and that was it. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't click out yet. Behind the scenes are coming and I will see you next week. Dog. You see who it is? Get your nose art off my thing anyways. Here, come outside. Come outside. Come on. Hi. Hi, sweetie.
shall we? Hi, Kiki. Hi. Wrong charger. <laughs> Take two. Oh, we're busy today. Maybe later when we're done, you can play with her. I have no issue with that, but not right now. Uh, I wanted to go outside. Whoa, so interesting. Thank you. Hey, Madeline. Hey Madeline. Hey Madeline. Do you know how to get this out? I will, I'll cut this part out. Just help me figure out how to get this out. Pull this forward. Finally, that time of year, we are taking down the fall decor and putting up the Christmas decor. So this is my official 2022 Christmas clean and decorate with me. I'm going to be taking down all my fall stuff and putting up all of my Christmas stuff. And I'm going to be making a meal in this video. So if you need a good meal idea, then you've come to the right place because you know, I always do super simple, but it was definitely delicious. It was so good. The rest of the year. I'm also going to be sharing what I this little thing that I do every year for our mail delivery and package delivery services such as UPS, Amazon, FedEx, so on and so forth. I always like to set out a little station for them with snacks and they absolutely love it. So I'm sharing that with you guys and I will also share the link to print your own for free if you would like to do it as well. So if you need some inspiration for decorating this year or cleaning motivation or a mix of both, then definitely stay tuned. Alexa. Play Christmas music.
So you'll have to let me know if your Alexa went off when I said that because when I was editing this footage, she heard it and went off and started playing Christmas music. So I thought that was funny, but it's probably going to annoy a lot of people. I'm really sorry. Those things are super sensitive, but have you named her something different? If you do have an Amazon Alexa, do you call her that or do you name her something else? Because I have a friend who had to name her something else because there's something that they say in their family all the time. I can't remember what it is, but it sounds so similar to that, that theirs would go off all the, the time. So they had to rename her. If you didn't know that, you can rename them. So anyways, I got some tubs. I went to Lowe's, not Lowe's. I, yes, it was Lowe's. I couldn't, I get Home Depot and Lowe's confused. I went to Home Depot. No, oh my goodness, you guys. I have so much going on right now that I cannot think straight. I went to Lowe's. I did a Lowe's pickup, which was super convenient. So I ordered online and I was able to just go to the store and they loaded it in my trunk. But I ordered two large totes because when I was pulling up all of my stuff for Christmas and fall, I no lie probably had 10 totes, which is absolutely ridiculous. And I don't want to do that again next year. So I want to consolidate. So I got these really large ones. I got two 40 gallon. This is the one you see now is a 40 gallon. Um, and I guess like I had high hopes because I thought at first that I was going to make one fall and one Christmas, but that was literally a joke because there's no way I could fit everything into one. So what I did was I bought the two, so they're both fall. And then I went on another day and bought another one, which you guys will not see in this video, but it is a 70 gallon and it's red and green. And that one is for Christmas. It has wheels too. So it's super easy to like push around, but I bought that for the Christmas decor. And I think, so now I have two for fall and then I think I'm going to have two for Christmas. The one huge 70 gallon will be the main. And then I may have one small one for ornaments and stuff, but I really am hoping to get all of it in that one so that next year I only have to deal with three or four totes instead of 10 because they were stacked. I'm not even kidding. I should have taken a picture from floor to ceiling in my living room. Once I emptied them out, I stacked them because I just put them in our storage room to save for like if I need them in the future for anything. And they were, they were floor to ceiling. So I do not ever want to do that again. I just feel like I don't even know. Over the years, I just accumulate so much. So I do have one that's actually full of stuff that I'm selling. Actually, one of my friends is going to buy from me. And so I got rid of a bunch and then I consolidated what I'm keeping and it feels so good. All this time. to address a comment that I see on almost every video that I post and that is how do I get it all done and have so much energy and that you wish you had that much energy too but the truth is that editing is magic and I'm able to edit out so much that goes on behind the scenes I do have to stop several times I have to run errands and make meals I get easily overwhelmed so sometimes I need to just sit down and relax for a little bit Recently, I've discovered a game called June's Journey. I'd like to thank June's Journey for sponsoring today's video. June's Journey is a murder mystery story. It's set in the 1920s, and you have to find hidden objects in order to help solve the murder of June's sister, Claire. It has a diverse cast of characters. Meet Mr. Jack Hayes. Isn't he handsome? <laughs> So not only is this a game, but it's also a story. So it's kind of telling you a story along the way of June's sister's murder and how she's trying to solve it. And she's finding out all these suspicious things about her family. This is June's niece, Virginia. Doesn't she look super suspicious? I personally have been playing this a lot more than I would like to admit, but the crime junkie in me is motivated to try and solve this murder case. My favorite part of the game is finding the hidden objects. When I'm looking for the hidden objects, I will find clues to learn more about the murder. This part is like exercise for your brain. So if you would like to check out June's Journey, you can download the game for free by clicking the link below in the description box. June's Journey is available on Android and iOS mobile devices, as well as on desktop through Facebook and Amazon.
If you are already playing June's Journey, let me know. Do you suspect Virginia too? Let me know in the comments. All right, so now I'm bringing out a few of my tubs that I had for Christmas. I think really it's not my fault because these tubs are small. So in my defense, <laughs> the tubs that I had were really small, so I did have to use more. So it's really not my fault, but it kind of is. So this is my main one where I keep all my like favorite stuff, the stockings and the mantle stuff. I did get the little stocking holders from the Target bullseye section years ago. I think maybe three to four years ago now. So I don't think they still have them. They may, I'm not sure. But a lot of this stuff, the little white houses that you're seeing, those are all from the Target bullseye section, but years ago. I don't know what they have out this year. I honestly hardly ever go look at it anymore because at our store, it's always so picked over that it's not even fun because I'll see other people like on Instagram and they're really cute little hauls of the stuff they find at theirs. And mine never has that stuff. So I'm just kind of tired of being disappointed, so I've stopped going, but I love these that I've had for years, so I just plan to keep using them for a while. I have no desire to really get new ones yet, so they work, and they were like $3 a piece, so that's always a win. Hold up, I am on my way. I'm in motion. I do really miss our old fireplace from our previous home. It had a large mantle and it was really wide and I was able to decorate it so much better. This one is very narrow, so it's really hard to decorate and that makes me really sad because I love a really large fireplace mantle. I would love to reface this one, but I honestly just don't know like how or what we could do. I don't really know like my options or what we could do. Um, and honestly, I probably can't even talk my husband into do it. I would probably have to hire somebody to do it, but I feel like if I hire somebody to do it, I need to know what I want to do. So, and plus it costs a lot of money. So I just really haven't fooled with it. I just make do with what I have and make the best of it. And it turns out okay, but I do really miss my old mantle. It was so much fun to decorate. I, and I can promise Santa's coming to visit. No, he wouldn't miss this in Christmas. I got these wreaths at Walmart a couple of years ago. They were like $15 a piece, which is super cheap. They do light up and they're on like a timer. So if you turn them on at the time of day that you want them on, they will come on. They will light up for, I think like four hours, four or five hours. I'm not sure. And then they will come on the same day at um, the same time every day. So... I really love those. I've had those for a few years. They probably still have them because it's Walmart and they tend to carry the same things. But this year I stuck those little uh, wreaths in there with the pops of red because I wanted to see how I felt about having some pops of red this year. And while I think they look really pretty in there, I'm not so sure how I feel about the pops of red in there. I don't know. I may end up changing it. We'll have to wait and see. I wanted to add some color this year with my lighter paint that I have. I'm feeling more like darker and warmer toned like decor and stuff, but I don't know what it is. It just bothers me to have a lot of color. So we'll see if they stay. Alright, so here's the Christmas tree. I got this from Hobby Lobby several years ago. It's kind of lopsided. I don't know what's going on at the bottom, but when I was doing this, I have something to talk about. So I see when it's Christmas time, all these women are super excited to put their trees up and they have multiple trees and 
why? I hate putting up my tree. I, like, I make my husband put it up if he's not deployed. I make him put it up. There's Miss Kitty. And yes, she is climbing the tree. It's a whole thing. We have a water bottle sitting next to it to spray her when she gets in it. She will climb all the way to the top. And I have more to say about that. But it, like, scratches my arms. I hate the way that the needles feel on me. I feel like I can never get it right. I just do not enjoy Christmas trees. I love them once they're up. But... Oh my gosh, the process is not fun. So am I, like what makes you, the ones that love to do that and like do it all on their own and have multiple, like am I doing something wrong because I want to like it, but I don't. I wish that I could just pop a tree up and it just already be fluffed and pretty because in that case, I would have tons of them all over my house. But I hate that process and I feel like I can never get it right. Mine always has these big gaps in it. And as you can see, it's pretty lopsided. So I don't know. So this year we decided not to decorate it with ornaments because I had them out and so far within 24 hours, Hank has broken three to four ornaments um, because he's pulling them off of the tree and breaking them before I can get to him. So we're not going to do ornaments this year, but I did order some really pretty beaded garland from Target and I'm going to have that shipped to the house and I figured we can try wrapping that around so at least it has something on there, but hopefully he won't pull that off because I think that would be a disaster. Also, hopefully the cat doesn't pull that off because that would also be a disaster, but it was like right away as soon as I put up the tree, she was climbing in it. She loves it. She thinks we put it there for her. Racks, racks in my sack, hurt my back, yeah They said, say, Nick, what you got up in that back, yeah I got racks, racks in my sack, hurt my back, yeah They said, say, Nick, what you got up in that back I got racks, racks in my sack, hurt my back So this is my newest wet dry mop and wet dry mop, wet dry vac. It is a mop too, but, um, I've been loving it. And if you want to know more about it, I do have a video. I think it's like two videos ago where I shared more about it, but it's really awesome. It does an excellent job. My floors are literally squeaky clean. Like literally they squeak and I've never had squeaky clean floors before. So right now this is my top vac mop that I've ever reviewed. It is so good and it like lies down so you can go under furniture and it has a light. So it's a total winner in my book and it makes this type of cleanup super easy because all of that flocking fell um, on the ground when I was doing the tree and instead of having to come in and get a vacuum and then like mopping the floor to get it like clean and all that, nope, I just go in a couple of passes and it's completely clean and it's awesome. I love it so much. I've been using it every single day. Christmas lights are all around. I can see them now. It's like they spell your name. It's insane. Now we're back here once again. Holidays I did put this tree skirt under there. I normally, well, the last few years I've been doing like a white one with some fur around it, which I think that one is so cute, but I wanted to change it up this year since I put the red in the wreaths. I thought I would add a pop of red here, but ultimately I decided to go with a tree collar and you won't see it in this video, but you should see it in the next one. I really love it. I feel like it just makes it look super clean and that way my kids can't mess up the tree skirt. So I found it on sale at Kirkland's. I think it was originally $70 and I got it on sale for 40. So to me, that was a really good deal and I really like it. Make you
right, let's talk about this snack station. This is the same sign that I used last year. I'll link it in the description box. You can download it for free if you want. I just made this one. You can also make your own if you prefer, but I just get a little bucket and I put some snacks in there and I put some drinks in there and I set it out by the front door. And then when they deliver a package, they can have a snack and a drink if they love it. I love watching the camera and seeing their reactions. And almost every time they say thank you so much, they're so excited. They're surprised when they get up there and see it, especially where I live because there's not a gas station at every corner. We're kind of back and out of town. So there's really nothing around that if they wanted to stop and get a drink or a snack, there's not really any options. So they're always really thrilled to get to my porch and see that. And I just love making them happy and making their day because I know that their job is really hard. I know they work from sun up to sundown. Sometimes I see delivery drivers out still at like 9 p.m. No joke. And I remember one night we had one deliver something at nine and my husband was like, you're still working. And he was like, yes, I still have a whole other truckload that I have to go get and do. It's just insane. And this time of year, especially, and as the years go on, because we are shopping more and more online. I mean, just think like 10 years ago, Amazon, I mean, maybe it was a thing, but it wasn't what it is today. And now it is. I mean, the majority of Christmas shopping, I feel, is done online. So these people, their job has completely like quadrupled, if not more. And it's just a lot. And so I really appreciate them. I know they're bringing packages to my house pretty much every single day between stuff coming for my work and stuff coming for Christmas presents. And then also like I just ordered toilet paper from Amazon. So I'm ordering, you know, household goods and things. And I love the subscribe and save. I use that for a lot of different things. There are different supplements that I have on that toilet paper, Clorox toilet wand air filters I've had on there before. Um, there's just all sorts of things and you save a little bit of money too if you do the subscribe and save. So I'm getting household goods, batteries, just anything and everything you can order on Amazon. So they're at my house all of the time. So I just wanted to give back a little. Last year I thought about how things can
the snow is falling down and it is cold outside we gather around the fireplace and no one cares about yesterday Christmas memories I've been working so much lately I can barely find the time to sleep Yeah, spend my time all right, so I stopped for a second to go ahead and throw some chicken in the crock pot. And honestly, I should just call this like pantry chicken. I don't know because I made it up and this is what I do. Every time it might be a little different. This is not a recipe. I literally just made this up, but I'm gonna tell you what, it was so good. So I highly recommend you follow this as I guess, I guess it is a recipe now. I made it a recipe. So I'm just using chicken breast. You just put in there however many you need for your family. I'm gonna go ahead and season it with some black pepper. I put that cream of chicken chicken soup. I get the cream of chicken with herbs. I put that in the bottom. I'm going to throw a packet of ranch seasoning in there. And then I also love this seasoning. I think it's by crock pot. Yeah, it's by crock pot, the savory herb and chicken uh, seasoning. It's so good. So I just sprinkle that on there and that was it. Put the lid on depending on how long you need it to cook for. I put mine on low for six hours and I did sides later. So you will see that later in the video, like what I served with it. But I just put that in. It's super easy. It literally took me less than five minutes to do that. And it was so good. The chicken was so tender and so flavorful. And then I made sweet potatoes, my special way that I make and everybody loves them. And then I made mac and cheese and it was so delicious. In fact, me talking about it is actually making me so hungry. I want it again, but I don't have any leftovers because my family ate the leftovers. These are the good times with you. Baby, this year is just gonna be you and me. Hang by the fire and chill. Isn't this how it is supposed to be? Making our Christmas memories. Oh, and I've been longing to hold you close. Forget about so here is my picture of Santa. I've had him since I got him the year that I, well, actually, I think I might've gotten him the year before I had Kinsley because I remember the year I had Kinsley, I broke him, but my husband was able to fix him. He's kind of loose in there, but he's still going strong. But anyways, he's like a tradition in our family. He goes up every year, but Hank was not having it. He was at the point in the day where he just was over me, not paying him attention and wanted to be held. So I had to go put him down for a nap. You didn't see that because of the magic of editing, but I did have to stop and go put him down and then come back to it. I was having a hard time getting it to catch on the screw, but I did eventually get it to catch. But guess what? Santa didn't last there long because he messed up my thermostat. I don't know if it's because it's so heavy. I don't know what happened, but it made it go offline and it wasn't kicking on anymore. And I didn't want to mess anything up too bad. So I took him off. I put something else there that's lighter and I moved him over my chair in my office, which is where I put him last year. So that's kind of sad because I thought he looked really cute there, but whatever. <laughs> he looks cute where he is now too. Isn't this how it's supposed to be? Making our Christmas memories. It's cold outside, but the fire keeps us warm. We can spend the night underneath the mistletoe. And I've gotten you a present that I. In the midst of all of this decorating, I got my Amazon delivery for this pot and pan organizer that um, I like randomly decided literally the day before that I needed because my pots and pans, I have so many of them and they're so unorganized and you open the cabinet and they're like falling out and it's a disaster and it stresses me out and I hate it. So I was like, all right, 
I think I could do one of these. So I looked at the reviews on them and saw people's pictures of how it looked and everything. I was like, I think that that will work for me. So I got this one that is um, extendable. So you can kind of make it shorter or longer based on your needs. And then you can put in the little dividers spaced apart however you need. So it did take me a minute to figure out how to do it. I'm absolutely terrible at putting stuff together. I cannot follow directions to save my life, but I got it and it works. It may not be right, but it works. And I love how it turned out. I am so excited for how this turned out. It just makes my life so much easier. It's Christmas, the first for you and me. Another year went by, but the difference this time that ever since July I've been happier than I have ever been it's safe to say that my love for you is true tomorrow While I'm decorating my little three-tiered tray, I thought I would tell you about like the rest of my day and what I have going on. I am so tired. I'm yawning as I'm doing this voiceover because this week has been so busy, but we are going camping and riding this weekend. It's supposed to be a, a high of like in the 30s, so it's going to be so cold, and I'm not looking forward to that because I do not do cold, but I am looking forward to the camping and riding part. It's going to be fun. I just hope we're able to stay warm. We have tons of like cold weather gear, and I got these little Little things that go in your boots to keep your feet warm. Um, so I'm hoping that they help, but I'm excited to see our family and we have a new baby in the family that I get to meet for the first time. So that's exciting, but we are going to be doing that. And so we're leaving tomorrow as I'm doing this voiceover and I haven't packed anybody. I still have to pack us all. I still have to pack the camper. I still have to wash laundry from the camper, blankets and stuff. I still have to wash laundry of things that I need to pack. And I still need to go to the grocery store and get all of the camping groceries because I have not done that. So I have so much to do today. And I honestly, this is like the first chance I've had to do it. So Today is going to be a very long day. I'm probably going to pass out like at eight o'clock tonight. As soon as I get the kids in bed, I'm probably just going to pass out. Actually, no, I'm not because I'm actually probably going to still be doing stuff, but I think I'm going to not make dinner tonight to make it easier on myself. So I was kind of thinking, what do I want to do about dinner? Because I, we ordered pizza on Monday because my husband wanted a pizza night. He was craving pizza. So we did pizza already. So we can't do that. So I don't know. I had planned to do spaghetti tonight, but we had chili last night. So I'm like, ugh, I don't really want spaghetti. I don't really have anything else to make. So I'm trying to think of something simple that maybe we can pick up for tonight or something simple we can do. Maybe we can do like easy peasy. I'm not sure. I just do not feel like cooking tonight. And honestly, it's going to take so much time that I need to be using to do other things that I need to do to get ready for camping. Let's go outside, the snow is falling down And every child is having so much fun The snowman is twice the size as me With a smile as quirky as mine We're holding hands to keep each other warm While we stand and watch a choir perform And all the Christmas songs that we love Yeah, all the Christmas songs that we love and in a while we're gonna go inside and drink our chocolate by the fire Cause all I want is to spend this day Oh yeah, and I forgot, you just saw my new table. I love it. I am so in love with it. It is just so perfect. So I bought the table. It's the Veilbeck and I got it from Ashley Furniture. If you want the link, let me know. I'll send it to you. I got it on sale. I think it was on clearance. So it was a really good price. And it does come with chairs if you want, but I didn't want them. They are white and then they have gray cloth seats. 
And that's a big no for me, not at this stage of life with kids. It just would be a disaster. So I didn't buy this set, so I didn't get the chairs. I bought different chairs. And the chairs I got, you can get on Amazon, but you can also get them on Ashley's website. They're the same exact brand and everything. I think they were a little cheaper on Ashley's website when I bought them. But maybe if you do want to get them, just check between the two and see where they're cheaper. But they came right away. So I've had them for a while. But I had to wait a, probably like I think a month to get my table. But it finally came in and I love it so much. It's just so perfect. It just makes me so happy. You. Let me give you a Christmas moment we'll fill with love and joy. So beautiful kissing on a mistletoe, baby, with you. I don't need any presents as long as I spend this day with you. Mm -mm, so beautiful kissing on a mistletoe, baby, with you. And drink our chocolate by the fire Cause all I want is to spend this day with you Let me give you a Christmas a Moment we'll fill with love and joy love and It's joy. a beautiful kissing on a mistletoe Baby, with you, with you. With I don't you. need any presents As long as I spend this day with you So for this size, I'm just going to show you how I do my sweet potatoes. This is super unhealthy. It's definitely a treat. We don't have this very often. So it's very sugary. I'm just going to go ahead and warn you. It is like, you're going to be like, oh, wow. Okay. But I peel the sweet potatoes and rinse them and then I chop them up and then I put them in a pot. I throw a whole stick of butter in there and then I pour a bunch of brown sugar in there and I don't measure it like with a cup. I measure it with my heart and it works out. I don't really feel like you could put too much in there, but you can definitely not put enough. So you can always like when they get done, taste and see what you think. But I would say that's probably a half a cup to three fourths a cup of brown sugar. And I just let that cook until they are soft. And I served that with a boxed mac and cheese and it was so good, you guys. Thank you so much for watching today's video. Before you head out, don't forget to check out the description box for a link to download June's Journey for free. And I will see you guys in my next video.
trick on how to do this. Let me just, let me go lay you down. Because I can't do this with the pressure of you crying. Can I have a sip of your sun drop? Can I actually put yours in a cup and have it? That one's um, yucky. Guess how many um, pull-ups I can do in just like one time, like not jumping at all. Two. No, three. Mm. Yeah, and guess how many push-ups I can do without dropping? Four. Oh, no, 22. 22? Yeah. And, really? and they're like actual ones because like Sergeant Kelly will come up and Sergeant Major will, will come up and like watch you. Wow. This was what was in there. Oh, really? You got it out? I'm so glad. How'd you get it out? Go to the bathroom and rinse that off. How'd you get that out? I still don't think I got it. Welcome to another video. Today I'm going to be doing some deep cleaning. I'm going to be cleaning several areas of my home. So I'm here to keep you company while you clean your house or if you just like to watch me to relax and maybe get some motivation by the end, then I'm also here for you on that as well. But I'm excited to have you here. I'm very glad you clicked on my video and let's go ahead and get started. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and start in our bedroom and change our bedding. I did have a carpet person coming on this day to measure our square footage for carpet because we are looking into getting new carpet. So we got um, an estimate from Lowe's. Well, I haven't actually gotten the estimate yet. Um, I'm expecting it any moment now, actually. They said the measuring was done, but I haven't picked my carpet yet. So I think I need to pick the actual product before they can give me an actual estimate, but I'm excited. I might get an estimate from somewhere else depending on what they tell me, but supposedly it's free installation and I do believe they have a military discount as well. So that should save us money there. I have a few samples. You might see one of them laying around in this video. If you do see it, let me know. Comment in the comment section and let me know if you saw it. It is laying around somewhere in this video and it's one of the colors and I picked four, I think, samples to bring home and I just, I don't know, you guys, it's hard to pick from a little, what is it, like maybe four by four sample is hard. I don't want to go too dark, but I don't want to go too light. I'm definitely not going to do a solid. What we have now is a solid cream and it's so stained. You guys can't tell on camera, but it is so stained and so bad. It's from the previous owners. I don't know how long it was here before that, but there's paint spilled on it and there's some stains. I have no idea what they are. They're like black, things that just will not come out. We've had it professionally cleaned and then I also have cleaned it with mine and they just won't budge. So it's time. I'm leaning more towards the gray family and we're gonna do like a mixed pattern so it'll help hide anything if we do have any stains, but I'm really not sure. But all of you guys that I asked that gave me advice told me to go with a good pad. It doesn't matter what carpet I get if I don't get a good pad. So we're definitely going to be getting the best pad that they have. We've already looked into that. Um, but yeah, as far as carpet colors, I don't know what to do. So if you have any suggestions, let me know. I feel free because I need help. And if you've gotten carpet in your house recently and you want to send me pictures on Instagram of what you did, I would also love that as well because I've never put carpet in a home before and um, I just don't know. I don't know what I want. So if you want to help a girl out, I would super duper appreciate it.
deep clean my bathroom in this video, but I needed to go clean Hanky's room first. So because I was doing my jets, I went ahead and filled it up with hot water, bleach, and a little bit of Tide. And I run the jets for like 10 to 15 minutes so it can clean those out really well. So now in Hanky's room, I just needed to change his bedding as well. And he has another pillowcase for his pillow. I was going to change that, but I couldn't find it. We took it camping and I'm wondering if I didn't accidentally leave it in the camper or something. You guys, meat and pillowcases. I lost the two to our bed. I still can't find them, by the way. I don't know if you noticed, but I put two different pillowcases that don't go with that sheet set on there. I cannot find them. They're not behind the drawer as far as I can see. I don't know where they are, and now I've lost his pillowcase too. So I don't know where it is, but I guess they'll eventually turn up. When we were camping, I did look, and I was in the camper digging through blankets to get them out and wash them, and I found a quilt that I've been looking for for literally a year. I've torn this house upside down. I even went in the camper and looked for it, and I ended up finding it in the camper. So I'll find them eventually, maybe when we move out. A couple of videos ago, I shared with you all how I have arranged Hank's toys into toy bins and I cycle them out. That has been working so good for us. I'm super excited about it and I highly, highly, highly suggest doing that if you have small children to get the bins to do that. If you don't know what I'm talking about, check out that video. It's in the thumbnail. You'll see it says how to organize kids toys. Um, but that being said, I did realize that I needed to go ahead and label them because I don't want to accidentally bring out the same bin twice. I want to make sure that I go through all of them. So I'm using this label maker that I'm fixing to share with you guys to do that. Go ahead and label Hank's toy bins. I'm using this Supfan label maker. It's the E10 Mini Bluetooth label maker. It is a thermal printer, so it is inkless, and it's really cool. You never run out of ink. It's super easy to use. It has an app that you use with it, which is also very user friendly. I love that it's mini and it's portable. It literally fits in the palm of my hand, and it comes in several different colors. I picked pink because I just love pink right now, and mine also came with these really cute little ears you can stick on. You can also choose different colors of label tape as well as some patterns. It is waterproof and oilproof, which means you can wash it several times and it's not going anywhere. It's really easy to tear off though if you do wanna replace it. I've been using these labels on so many things in my house. I use it to label my kids' lunch items that they bring to school. Hanky's preschool requires that all of his items be labeled and I'm able to label them very easily and this label here, will last me forever. You can really customize your labels in so many different ways. There's so many different fonts and frames that you can make them super cute. This does feature a continuous label, which means that you can print longer labels, or for example, if you're doing a project like I was doing here with the toy bins, you can do it all in one strip. It also includes a built-in cutter, which means that you can just cut it right from the machine. I love this, it makes it super easy. I don't have to bring anything else with me, no cords, no scissors, I've got everything I need with just my phone and the label maker. I've been using mine to label so many different things. I've been labeling leftovers in the fridge, so hopefully they don't get moldy because <laughs> we'll know what they are. I've also been using it to label our pet items. We have three animals, two dogs and a cat, so it's nice to be able to know what's in what drawer without opening it. I've also labeled their food containers. The backing is really easy to pull off as well, and I really appreciate that small detail because I can't stand when it's really hard for me to get the backing off of something. Thing I'm using. You can also buy the gift pack, which comes with the label maker, as well as three different tapes and some cute little ears. If you want to add those on, you can, and this has a stand, and you can actually put it in that stand and set it up on your desk and display it. It is really cute. This would make a great gift for so many people. I know a lot of women would love to use it for organizing in their home, for organizing kids stuff, pet stuff, as well as like your pantry items, your spices, and teenagers could use that as well to label things for school. I know Maddie would really get a lot of use out of this. So if you're interested in this, I'll have it linked in the description box for you. So you can check that out. There'll be the link there directly to it. You can check out the different labels, the colors, and you can put together a little kit for yourself or you can get it as a gift for someone this year. And a huge thank you to Supvan for sponsoring today's video. 
So yeah, guys, I have really been using this in so many places. I love how small it is and I love that it's cordless. So I wanted to go ahead and label those because like I said, I was starting to get confused when I was going to pull them out. Like had I already brought that one out yet or not. So I went ahead and just labeled them by weeks. And I think I have seven weeks worth of bins, maybe eight. I can't remember now. So that's pretty good. So they'll be cycled out basically every two months. You might be wondering why I have two vacuums going in here. And that is because I had set the other one loose to do the hallway for me. And it decided to come in Hank's room and vacuum. And I just didn't feel like fighting with it. So I let it go ahead and do its thing. It does go under the furniture and stuff. But then I went ahead and did it with mine as well, just because I wanted to get up, you know, into some of the spaces that it doesn't get. I just wanted to do a little bit more of a deep vacuum than it can provide for me. So <laughs> we're both vacuuming together today. Hugging and kissing just you and me. I heard this thing I can't remember where it was but it was recently and it was something to do with how studies have shown that like 90% of a woman's stress and anxiety has been linked to the amount of things that she owns that really resonated with me because we have so much stuff it's ridiculous I'll never forget when we were moving the first time, my father-in-law, we had one spare bedroom full of all of our belongings, everything we had to our name. And the movers were coming to get them to move us to our first duty station, which was Colorado Springs. And I remember he said, every time you move, you're going to have more and more stuff. And every time we move, we have more and more stuff. It's insane. And of course, we've had children and things like that. So we've grown, but... We have so much stuff, you guys, and it is, it is stressing me out. I feel like if I had less stuff, I would feel better. So I have been going on this frenzy of decluttering and organizing things, and I went through and cleaned the entire basement. I went through all of the kids' toys finally. I've been wanting to do that. It looks so good. I'm so happy about that. And doing the thing with Hank's toys where I organize them into bins that has made me feel a hundred times better about the toy situation. I still have a lot of areas in my home that I want to go through though. My bathroom being one of the main ones. I have so many products. It's stupid. It's honestly just stupid, but I'm the type of person who sees a new product and I want to try it. And sometimes I end up loving it and sometimes I end up hating it. And then I'm stuck with this full size product of something that I don't love. And I know that you can take things back, but I'm just also really bad about doing that. I hardly ever go into town and then it's just a hassle. So I'm really bad about that. And so I am going to be going into this next year really thinking about what I'm purchasing and bringing into my home and trying to use up things before I buy new. I have the same situation with cleaning products, but that's kind of what I do for a job. So I do have a little bit of an excuse there, but that's another area of my home I'm fixing to go through and organize. And that is our mud room where we have all of our cleaning products, my vacuums and mops and the kids backpacks and shoes. I bought a new shoe rack for in there and I have new organizing bins that I got on sale from Target months ago. I planned on that being a winter project, but I'm going to be going through and getting rid of a ton of stuff. If I don't use it or I haven't used it in months, I'm getting rid of it. I'm only going to keep things that I absolutely love and need and the rest is going. I'll be donating some, throwing some away, giving some to friends, but I'm going to be doing that in my bathroom with products. I do not need all these products. They give me anxiety. Like you don't even think about it. Really, maybe you don't. I don't on the surface. But if you really do think about it, all of those things give me anxiety. The way that I've kind of been thinking about it is I think about a room in the way that I would look at it if I was fixing to move and I needed to pack that room up. How overwhelming would it be for me? Some of my rooms, it would be pretty easy. I, they're all, I don't have that much stuff in there. It's all organized. 
I could put it in a few boxes and be done. But some of my rooms, I am so overwhelmed that it's ridiculous and I don't want to feel that way. So next time I move, my goal is to have my rooms, you know, organized and only have the things I use and need. And then that way packing will be a breeze, or at least hopefully it'll be as easy as packing can be anyways. But you guys, I hope that you will join me on this journey. If you are someone that is like me and you have so much stuff, so much clutter, let's do this together. Let's go into the new year with this goal in mind. I think I say this every year and every year I do declutter some, but by the end of the year, here I am back to square one, but this year is different. This year is different because I'm doing it for a different reason, I feel, and I'm also going to be thinking long and hard about <laughs> purchasing things before I purchase things and bring them into the house. Like, do I really need this? Is this something that's worth me having anxiety over if I don't like it?
for the floors in here. I'm just going to use hot water and bleach. And then I did pour a little bit of Fabuloso in there just so that it would smell good and clean. But um, I noticed that after I'd mopped and everything with my rugs pulled up off the floor that it just looked so clean in here. You'll see when I do the overview of the bathroom clean. And now I'm like second guessing rugs, you guys. I know I need rugs in there. That's something I need because we need a rug when we step out of the shower in the bath. So I think what I'm gonna do is just get some new rugs. I'm gonna find something very simple, very neutral and lay that down. You know what would be actually perfect but I don't think they make is like a corner rug that could fit into that corner right there where the shower meets the bath but it would come out and be flat against the bathtub and flat against the shower. Oh, that would be kind of perfect, wouldn't it? But anyways, yeah, I need a rug in there, so I'm gonna have to put it on back, but it just looks so clean and good without the rugs. my fridge and I organize it and clean it and then it gets like this within a matter of weeks because my family does not know how to put anything back they do not care like I do how it looks but so I try to take everything out every a couple of weeks and reorganize it basically and clean it really good I don't really do a deep deep clean on my fridge except for once a year um, because it doesn't really need it because I kind of keep up with it as much as I can anyway. So I'm just taking everything out and throwing away expired items and kind of putting it all back in more organized where you can see what we have and all of that good stuff. Let's go outside, the snow is falling down and every child is having so much fun. The snowman is twice the size as me with a smile as quirky as mine. We're holding hands to keep each other warm while we stand and watch a choir perform and all the Christmas songs that we love. Yeah, all the Christmas songs that we love. And in a while we're gonna go inside and drink our chocolate by the fire. Cause all I want is to spend this day with you. Let me give you a Christmas. A moment we'll fill with love and joy. Mm -mm, so beautiful, kissing on a mistletoe, baby, with you. I don't need any presents. As long as I spend this day with you. So beautiful, kissing on a mistletoe, baby, with you. Ooh -hoo. Making plans, what we're gonna do. I feel so blessed that I can be with you. Cause God knows that I've been longing for you. I just wanna hold you close. You 
and all the stars are shining just for you. Let's take a walk, and we can follow the moon light till we reach a place we can stay. Maybe kiss a bit and dream away, and in a while we're gonna go inside and drink our chocolate by the fire. 'Cause all I want is to spend this day with you. Let me give you a Christmas a moment. We'll fill with love and joy. Mm-mm, so beautiful, kissing on a mistletoe, baby, with you. I don't need any presents as long as I. Spend- We're nearing the end of the video, but I just wanted to come on and talk a little bit about Christmas shopping. Um, have you guys finished your Christmas shopping? I bet you most of you are going to say yes. A lot of my viewers are just on top of things, but I am this year. Usually I'm a little bit more stressed, but this year I did pretty good. I'm pretty proud of myself. I'm pretty much done with Christmas shopping. I only need to go do a few more little things that I need to go in a store to do. Um, I did most of it online. I'm going to go in a store to get like stock, stocking stuffers and stuff like that, but I'm pretty much done. I'm very happy about that. I just need to wrap everything, um, which is nice because Madeline will actually wrap the younger kids toys for me. She enjoys it and she actually does a good job of wrapping. Whereas I just kind of wrap it up and it is what it is. I'm not one of those people that make my presents look super perfect because I hate doing it. Um, but she does. So she'll probably wrap both of the little kids presents for me and I'll wrap hers. But, um, yeah, I'm pretty much done. What I did was I waited until black Friday and then I went on Amazon and I just bought, I had, but I had put a bunch of stuff that I had been wanting to get the kids for Christmas, like over the last several months into a wish list. And then I waited until Black Friday and then I went through that wish list and I purchased all of the things that I had wanted that went on sale. So I got them all on sale and then I also did a little bit of Cyber Monday shopping as well. So it worked out pretty good. I, I got a lot of really, really good deals. One of the things I got was a little Dyson replica vacuum. I had the same one for Maddie when she was little. I may, think it was Maddie. Maybe it was Kinsley. Maybe it was Kinsley. I think it was Kinsley. But anyways, it's the little Dyson replica vacuum and it actually does suck up stuff and they have three different colors now, but I got the yellow one because the other two were $29.95 and the yellow one was on sale for $12.95 and as of right now, it's back to $29. So I got a really good deal on that. So I got that for Hank. My husband thinks that I'm crazy, but I think that little boys can vacuum too and I think he'll enjoy it at least for a little while and then when he's done with it, I can pass it down to one of my nieces or nephews because for $12.95, I just couldn't pass it up considering who I am and what I do and the fact that I love cleaning, I could not pass up a $12 Dyson. <laughs> Making our Christmas memories I've been working so much lately I can barely find the time to sleep Yeah, I spend my time running around Keeping people pleased But this is my favorite holiday It's a chance to start over new Cause I missed you so I'm letting go of everything but you These are the good times with you Baby, this year It's just gonna be you and me Hang by the fire and chill Isn't this how it's supposed to be? Making our Christmas memories, oh And I've been longing to hold you close Forget about everyone else Isn't this how it's supposed to be? Making our Christmas memories Oh oh La 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 oh oh La 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 oh oh La 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 Making our Christmas memories I've been wrapping presents for you I've been hanging marbles on the tree And I've lit my house with Christmas lights So you should come back home to me Up in the morning I'm gonna play those carols that you love We'll be singing all the melodies Until the sun comes up These are the good times with you Baby, this year It's just gonna be you and me 
lot of you guys love this rug that I have in here and I do too. I've had it for a couple of years. I got it at Lowe's in store. I cannot find a link for it online and I do not think they carry it in the store anymore. At least I haven't seen it, but because I did just clean the basement out, I think that I want to put this rug in the kids playroom. I feel like it's a really cute playroom rug with the like Aztec print and um there's a rug I have my eye on at Liz now um and it has been on sale with the holidays and stuff I want to see it in person though because online it's really pretty and in the review pictures it's really pretty but I need to see it um in person first so I'm going to go there and check it out and if I do like it the plan is I'm going to buy that put that one in the living room I think you guys are going to love it it's really pretty and then put this one in the playroom because we do have all hard flooring down there, which is great. I love that. But for their little play, play area, I think a rug would be nice if they want to sit down on the floor and play or whatever. So that is the plan for that. So stay tuned. I'm hoping to get that really, really soon. Um, what else? I feel like there was something else I was going to say about rugs or playrooms, but now I can't remember what it was. <laughs> I remembered I ordered some mixed tiles on their Black Friday sale. Okay, I have some things to say. The mixed tiles are really, 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 really expensive in my opinion. And maybe I'm wrong, maybe they're not for what they are, but they're pretty expensive, okay? So if you don't know what mixed tiles are, they are pictures you can have printed out on different colored frames, different sizes and such, and um, they are peel and stick and you can move them and switch them around if you want which is really great i love the concept i never had them before but i had always wanted some so they had a black friday sale so i got some i think i got 16 maybe 18 i can't remember and it was a hundred dollars for all of those they're little they're eight by eight and um three of them came where it's like printed wrong. Like there's an error in the ink. I don't know. Whoever packaged them, I don't know if they just weren't paying attention or what because it's very, very obvious. So that's really sad and I'm bummed, but I emailed them and hopefully I'm sure they will make it right. I'm sure they will. I'm pretty sure I've heard they have great customer service, so I'm pretty sure it will not be a big deal at all. But the reason I got them was for the playroom. That's why I had said that it was something to do with the playroom. So I'm thinking of putting the rug down there and then I got these mixed tiles to go on the wall and they're all of like the kids and us as a family. And then I also have one that is of our family member that passed away in July. So they're really, really good pictures that are just memories of life and I'm just really excited about them. So I'm excited to get that up on the wall as well. And when I do, I will share all of that with you guys. Thank you so much for watching today's video. Don't forget to like and comment and share this video. It helps me so much and it is a free way for you to support my channel so that I can keep making these videos for you. And let's go ahead and watch the behind the scenes. It's insane. Now Even more. Could you not?
treats. Hold up, I-